Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, you're watching us play some new games on classic consoles, and we've got four games today. That's 60 and frames per second. Make sure you're watching at <laughs> 60 frames per second if you're watching uh, on Twitch or YouTube later, so you make sure you get to see all the frames, all 60 of them a second. That's right. And welcome everybody in the chat. Yeah, and we got some friends today. Welcome Repentless VG, I Sposta, Nomad Game Dev, whose game we're playing. Hell yeah. Third, which is Beast. Splendid Nut. Splendid Nut. Ground Trooper. I Sposta. Thrust 26. And that's everybody and, who's and, talking so far. And Zero Page Homebrew, who's been really in Chatty the chat, chat, you know, like that's saying right. so much. And I, I, I was a little late. I was like, oh my God, we have to start now. That's okay. Everybody yeah. in YouTube doesn't know that. Only people watching live. That's and if true. you do want to watch live, make sure you uh, go on Twitch and uh, follow our um, uh, channel, Zero Page Homebrew, so you, it'll pop up. Totally, and we got a schedule, which we yep. actually stick to. We do, every a... Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> Fridays switch between times, but Wednesday's always at the same time. And you can, and the schedule's on there, schedule's also on uh, Atari Age forums yeah. as well. And it shows what games are coming up in the Atari Age forums as I fill them in, fill in the blanks. So you can keep track of it. It's a big deal, man. I've been looking on like other streamers trying to figure out, and it's hard because their schedules are all over the map. Right. So it, it really makes me not want to watch them because <laughs> I'll like go in and I'll be like, oh, when are we doing this? When's this happening? So it's you good that know. you've been so consistent because it does make a difference a lot of the hardcore streamers they stream every day yeah like 12 hours so even, for so. them to schedule stuff i bet it's hard they just go on whenever yeah and they have you know whatever tens of thousands of followers this is totally fine. so they don't really they don't i don't think they care as much because they're always going to get viewers like a certain percentage of totally. viewers. but i bet they do think about what time of day is best they have in, to in that respect it's there like, has they're to be not analytics do it. about it too like i bet you yeah and if you do game for 12 hours, you could totally... You capture a whole yeah, swath anyway. You could look and go, oh, at two, it seems to be more people. You could. That's right. You'll probably look at those and try and shift it a little bit. You're not going to do it at three or four in the morning. No. In, in, Unless you're a it, lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you live in you know Europe or Asia and you want to capture a North American market. It's yeah. a different time zone. Maybe you would do that. Um I uh, want to thank our Twitch subscribers, uh, Gretams, Johnny WC23, Crocodil, Crocodil Vomnil. I almost got that in one. That's the Mister Fix. That's the crazy drug, Crocodil. Yes, it is. Don't take it. Kids. No, that's the, we uh, don't recommend that. Muddy Funster, uh, Nathan <clears throat> Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Scum Software, Sir Cat Legs, Spartan Five Eight One, Spiceware, S Ramirez Two Thousand Eight, The D Train. 37 and Tiki Dan K and you can subscribe for well as well for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and you can get a little symbol beside yeah, your name. Look hey, at all Trey these guy, man. Look at all these people with symbols beside their name. Repentless VG or has Trey one. girl. I don't want to well, assume. Says Trey guy. But you never know. I'm just yeah. <laughs> and welcome Trey guy. Um, we've got some um mail news and feedback. No feedback, really. But we've got some news. Atari Age just released the box art for Aroach in Space. Oh, that's great news. And that's a good game, man. It's pretty cool. It is. It's a fun space shooter. I'm not very good at it. I'd like to it's, get better at it. It's it, a hard game. It is very challenging. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, man. If you can kick some butt at Roach in Space, you're a better gamer than me. <sighs> oh, yeah. Because it is challenging. It's a tough game. And you got to learn a lot about it. It's, it. it's definitely bang for your buck. I'd recommend it. So it keeps you, it is a lot of replay play value because it's just a lot of levels. It says right there, 40 plus enemy waves. And he's got yeah. such unique um, enemies. And different modes. Yep. Um, so Roach in Space is being put out by Atari Age. It's going to be out at Portland Retro Gaming Expo this uh, October in Portland. That's good. Um, shoot 'em up action. That's great. By I Vladimir love this Zunica. art a lot, man. It fits oh, this tone of the thing, and the eye wonderful. in particular is very on brand. Oh That's yeah. It's very um. What's his name? Um, uh, uh, it, VH. VHZC. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the pro it's very VHZC. The um uh the bats the and the eye, you know, oh, they yeah. just very all of his games have an eyeball in there somewhere. After a failed space, yeah, there's always an eyeball looking yeah. at you or coming after you. He's got a he's got a, a an aesthetic, you know. A stranded roach is coming back to Earth, but space is a perilous place. It's true. Dot, dot, dot. Rhyming dot. there. 
Uh, fast paced shoot 'em up game, that's for sure. Forty plus enemy waves. He's always got tons of stuff in his game. And like, very differently designed. Like not just like, um, oh, this one's a square, this one's no. a diamond. They it's... all move differently. <laughs> they you have to shoot them differently. Totally. Some, um, and it has power ups, multiple bosses, bosses, and two difficulty modes. I don't think we played in the hard one. No, I did. The I, easy one's hard enough. I couldn't even. Yeah, I couldn't even get past the easy. So if you're really good at shoot 'em ups, it gives you a lot of room to uh, to play there. Well, it's a great bang for your buck because it is a hard game. You, you'll you get way more um, uh, play out of it. So it's Trey Guy says you can pronounce it Trey Gooey. Trey Gooey or, or Trey Gooey. Trey Gooey. He, they think. He thinks. <laughs> You're the it's person. your name, man. We gotta... Maybe it's one of those things where you type it out, but you never say it out it's loud. It's very true. Yeah. That could be one of it. Uh, oh, I must have dropped off. I'll re-up when I get back my from my walk. Oh, thank you, Ground Trooper, for, for resubscribing. Yeah, it doesn't warn you. That's weird. And you have to keep doing it manually every month. Yeah, sorry, so, friends. Yeah, so I I don't know how to make that any better or to remind yeah, you. You just have our... to look beside your name, I guess. Is and it's easiest. not our service, unfortunately. Yeah. So we can't do anything about it <laughs> other than just let you know. And Yeah. And we've got some boxes here. Ooh. The unboxing uh, is always the unboxing. a fun thing. I don't think these have our Atari 2600, but they might be interesting. Uh, and this one is from Collector Vision, who mostly does ColecoVision games. Ah, oh, dude, he says he's, he's, he's French. He doesn't really know how to, how to write it, so Bonjour. he pronounces it uh, Très Guy. Très Très Guy. Très Guy. Très Guy. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds right. Key. There we go. Now that with your... Tregi. Tregi. Now, yeah, man. Okay, that, that, makes, that makes way more sense. Thanks for letting us know. Yeah. Um, and you say, say you're French. Where are you? Where are you from? Are you from France or are you Tregi? There. Somewhere we go. else. That's probably the easiest English uh, uh, yeah. translation of it. Hey, Dan, ABC. So, um, Collector Vision is has released now their um. FPGA version of uh, ColecoVision. Whoa. So it's a hardware emulation of the old ColecoVision, so it's perfect. Um, and it takes cartridges and the early uh, donators, not donators, early purchasers, because I think it was on, it was on Kickstarter, that failed, then they released it separately. Um, and I got in, I think, the second wave yeah. of it. So mine should be coming soon. Um, I placed an order recently because I saw that they have Ooh, Galaga. Fuck yeah, man. For the ColecoVision. And I love Galaga. Yeah, that's... I was like, oh my God. And it, it said it was, it was sold out. Oh. But, I, but I messaged them and they actually had a copy. They're like, we got you. It's yep. meant to be then. Yeah. And uh, somebody else posted on uh, in Facebook that they got uh, a Galaga as wow. well. So they may have ran across some more copies or made another print run and this you have to have the super game module ah. which is a plug-in that they made for the coleco vision i do not have that oh. but the phoenix the new one has a built-in perfect and so i will be able to play what this name, phoenix yeah it yeah. rises from the ashes that's correct exactly <laughs> it's mythologically perfect yep and southern france man that's a great it's ah. a cool place to be i bet yeah so i'm looking forward to playing that and uh, a lot of packing. Actually, this is very fortuitous because I have to pack something and send it off today. Yay. So I've got a bunch of packing Man. peanuts. Thank you much, uh, Collector Vision. This is <laughs> very well timed. Yeah, because those are things you don't want to buy. They're such a waste of money. And I hate like... keeping them around because yeah. they take up so much space. So it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And this one says video game on it. Ooh, it's see that's... from Special Reserve Games. And it's fragile, so we're, yes. we're going to see. Uh, let's see. There's some Yay. tape. Uh, I suppose says I have Collector Vision Galaga too. That's awesome. How is it? It looks pretty good. Doesn't look quite as good as the Atari version, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks pretty damn good. Okay. I, what is this? This is exciting. This is looks the design looks amazing yeah, has raised oh, especially the texture oh, yeah, of go. that uh that case the logo's got a raised logo it's called the messenger 
Wow, by Special Reserve Games. It is a kind of retro looking platformer game. Um, very much in the vein of, oh, what is the ninja games on the Nintendo? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> I, Damn. Okay. But uh, yeah, you can see on the back here. Covering my eyes. Uh, I'm covering you. It's fine. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, retro 8-bit eight eight -bit kind of uh, look to it. Actually, I'm going to open it up. And I believe this is for the PS4? Ooh. Yep. Usually you don't get boxes, actually. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Oh, and a manual that's bent. That's what? okay. What? Oh, it's not too bent. Oh, oh my god. This is so... Oh my god. It's so stiff. Yeah, it's, it's oh, like... Oh, cracking open. It feels open. durable, you know? Yeah. It's like you oh, gotta... the, the, the cover's like super thick. Wow. Oh, they wrecked it. I want a refund. Yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah it's like a ninja game. Very cool. Um... And that's usually what you get is just that. Yeah. Right. And you're and it's not the most aesthetically amazing thing oh, at all. Stamped. That looks like a like a like a, a Criterion Blu-ray case. You know, <laughs> he's like no, those yeah. that one. Oh, you yes. know what I mean? Like those come Special. in like that really like that nice. Yep, yep. Cuz this is just a game case, but that's yeah. like a So this is limited edition it looks like. I got uh oh, wow. for, uh number 1170. Not Holy for shit. resale. So I can never resell this oh no not that i do i've i've never sold any of my games yeah no because it's like why would you there big hoarder of games <laughs> <laughs> i've got a lot of I games i would i would say collector welcome s Ramirez 2008 <laughs> it is good champ gets more play uh cool place indeed but the 2600 are eight colors what 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 are you talking about 2600 or eight colors 2600 has 128 colors Ooh, lots of colors um so I'm going to have a discussion later about my Harmony Encore. Cool. Because I am having issues with it that are now coming to a head. Uh-oh. <laughs> that I need to figure out. And I am going to be asking you guys for help. I feel uh, like uh, you must be using this technology more than the average person on like a... Well, you, because I play all the games. Totally. Right? All the games that come out. And I get the bleeding edge versions of these games yeah, yeah. and I, I want to be able to play them to their fullest extent. Um, but there's some sort of conflict between the Harmony Encore and my RGB modded light sixer. And I need some help from you guys out there. Some hints, some pointers in the right direction. Oh, uh, so we'll get Splendid into that. Nut is letting us know. He says a C Cam Atari oh, yeah. only has eight, and and uh, and, and Trey guy is like, yeah, that's that's what I was doing. Yeah, so good correction. No, I don't yes. worry about your French man. Oh no, it's totally no, fine. No, it's totally cool. Um, no, Thrust said poor French. The poor ah! French people who got C Cam. Yeah, there they got go. uh, really ripped off with their C Cam uh, Atari twenty six hundred because they reduced it down to just eight colors. Wow. Where PAL and uh, NTSC got one hundred and twenty eight colors. Is weird. There's a game called uh, Final Fantasy X, yep. and there's a bunch of end game stuff that was only released in Europe and Japan and not in North America. Oh, so, that happened all the time. And so, right? like, it's really interesting. There's a lot of games and there's lots of sort of releases that are just different in Europe versus North America. And sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Like, yep. we lost with that one because we didn't get that stuff, but it sounds like you guys lost uh, with <laughs> the, your in the Atari. eight colors Atari. Like, fuck. Yeah, that's terrible. Um, so, but we'll get into that discussion on the second game, mm. um, because it is very relevant. Cool. So we're going to get into Demos Lander, Demos, D-E-I-M-O-S, Demos? I yeah. guess so. Yeah. And this is by Jay Baines. Not um, to be confused with Atmos. That's right. And that's Dolby product. <laughs> yeah. Right. Which is actually a very, very cool encoding, uh, scheme for audio. Yeah. Um, it's not how how is it? it it's you place the sound yeah. you don't say left channel right channel back right it's like a 3d spatial placement of the sound and then it gets translated based i believe based on the environment yeah that it's in um so it's a it's a different kind of 3d uh audio encoding scheme and then 
it gets translated based on the number of speakers and where they're placed. So if you say, I have a helicopter and it goes from that space in XYZ to that space in XYZ. They can map and it. And it goes, wow. And it's, it's like, wow, that is yeah. really awesome. Rather than trying to do a 3D mapping of things, it's just, yeah, it simplifies it. I believe that's it. Um, so this is Demos uh, Lander. It's by it's 2017 work in progress, so it hasn't been updated Ooh. since 2017. But we're going to be playing the newest version of it. Demos Lander, yeah. yeah right one here. second, don't do it yet. Get the game on. Uh, oh no, it can't see the video game. One second, let's correct that. Yay. So go for it there. And this one here? Yeah, top one. Cool. Um, so this was first posted about in June 19th, 2006. Demos um, Lander. And this build is from December 24th, 2017. Is the developer um, in the chat? No. Okay. Um, because it's a little bit older game, sometimes... <laughs> Red colors are missing in CCAM. Oh, God. Red is pretty important. What's, so there's just no Christmas <laughs> on that? <laughs> it's an altered Christmas. It's a special There's Christmas. no America. There's no Canada. There's... No, it's just white. Flags, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> sea of white and blue, and us is just, it's just white. Oh, no. What a tragedy. Maybe an outline in black of the, of the maple leaf. Demos is the smaller and outer of the two natural satellites on the planet Mars. Yes. Damn. So uh, let's. This is a 32k game, and this is the only game this guy made oh, that cool. I could track down anyway. And that you can download this in the Atari Age forum. So let's jump into it. Incoming message. Okay, good. Oh, there's no sound coming through. Oh, that's nice. They're starting me off in the simulator. Welcome, astronaut. You will begin by training in the simulator. Good, Good luck. luck. I will need that luck. We may friends. need to reset this because I can't see any audio coming through. Okay. But press the button. Level one. No, there's no audio. I'm going to have to reset this. Oh, shit. It's okay. Let's retry. Too okay. fast. Fuck. And get this going. Yeah, because we want you to be able to hear this game. Yep. Yeah. So try it again. Need some sound. Nope. Okay, I'm going to reboot the, this. Okay. Which usually does it. Try it again. What's happening? Oh, no, it's not. But I can hear it here, so it's coming out of... Hmm. Hmm. Landed, finally. Okay, we gotta get some sound though. Yeah. What is happening here? Oh. Monitor off? No, that's fine. That's good. It's so annoying because we do this all the time. Okay, let's try that. Okay, go for it. You can keep playing. Also, what? No, no sound yet. Too fast. Mission one, level two. But pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Keep it in the green. You ran out of fuel. Damn it. Using up the fuel. Weird. What is happening? And it's also like like caught on like a weird screen, you know? Oh, the, I yeah. could be wrong. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay, try it again. There we go. Yeah. Okay, Yay. now you can see what I'm doing, and you can watch me like, yeah, dude, I you landed did it. it. Yeah. Video is frozen now. Yeah, dude. We're good. We're all good. We're back. We're back. Happy times. Level two. So let's read about. Yeah, you did it. Landed. Okay. Level three. Whoa, this one's next level, dude. Look. So it says, since my laptop was on the fritz this weekend, this is first post. I decided to mess around with Batari Basic. It's a fun language because with only a smidge of effort, I'm able to give you Demos Lander. Story. Uh -oh. In an attempt to colonize Mars, NASA has established a base on Mars moon Demos. You are one of the elite pilots selected for the dangerous mission of delivering crew and supplies to the new base. May sound simple, 
There's nothing simple about running out of fuel on Final That's Approach. That's true, man. Hit the landing pad at the right velocity and you'll be remembered as a pioneer of a new generation. Ah, oh, I crashed, okay. Not down a bit. It's pretty hard, man. Hit the pad too fast or run out of fuel yes. and the only ones who remember you are the obituaries that time forgot. That's fucking so right. <laughs> oh, it's so intense, I love that. The obituaries time. God. Feel. Oh god. Gameplay. Press the reset button on your console to begin your approach. NASA has provided your craft with a no, mere oh, too fast. 250 tons of fuel. It may sound like a lot, but it's barely enough for something the size of your lander. You still have fuel left. Ah oh, yeah, I have to just jam it. It's hard because like if I if I take it too slow. Yeah. There you yes. go. Okay, I'm learning. Uh Okay, sometimes so, it just so repeats your... the same level, though, even oh. though I want it. Weird. Crash, you weren't on it. Ah, oh, I see. That's what the problem is. You weren't reading the, the thing. I, I it looks that. like you landed, but you actually didn't land. Ah. Oh. Ran out of fuel. Uh -oh. um, to thrust upwards, press the fire button on your controller. For lateral thrust, press the joystick left or right. Uh -oh. Keep an eye on your fuel gauge. Not only will it help you budget your fuel, but it will indicate... If you're losing altitude too fast. When you're at a safe incoming message, because I died too many times, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, son, but you're just not cut out to be in this program. See you. Oh, next time, see if you can crash. Dude, this. I died so many times. I died well, like maybe like really forgiving. maybe like 15 times. <laughs> uh, that's a very, the NASA program has gotten. Okay, okay. Incoming message. Can I keep playing? Or are you... I think you start you on will level begin. one again. Oh, no. Okay. You can skip, but seriously, you should, you should be able to make it with 15 lives. I should. I've already fucked up one, though. Yes, landed. Mission two. Uh, when you're at a safe landing velocity, the indicator yes. will be green. When your velocity is too high, the indicator will be red. Use more vertical thrust to slow your approach. Author's notes. Uh, these are pretty old notes. La 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 la. Yep. Controls left, no, thrust left, right, fast. thrust right, fire thrust up. Also clears message screens and starts the games. Select changes the level. Only works oh. at title and uh -oh. message screen. Yeah. Reset resets the game and displays the title screen. Left difficulty switch. Mode B is easy, which we're on. <laughs> mo mo mode A is hard. Reduces the available fuel by 30 units. Um, some notes from the developer. When I chose to make a game called Demos Lander, I did so because it was a semi-realistic portrayal. As it so happens, setting up a base on or in orbit of Demos is a very likely possibility. The reasons behind this are packed in this little chart. It's a chart. The chart explains how much delta V, a measure of the energy needed to change orbits, is required to visit several places in our solar system. Here's where things get weird. The energy cost associating with visiting the surface of our own moon is a 5.5 kilometers per second change in velocity. However, the cost to visit the surface of Deimos, a hunk of rock about 48 million miles more distant than our own moon, would only be 5.6 kilometers a second. The difference is surprisingly minor, making Deimos an ideal staging point for a Mars mission. Phobos, on the other hand, is less than acceptable destination. It would take an extra 0.8 kilometers a second to go there instead of Deimos. Its surface is far less smooth than Deimos' surface, and it's geologically far less stable. When you look at the fact that it would take 1.5 kilometers a second to go there from Deimos, it doesn't even make sense as a secondary staging point. It would take 6 kilometers a second to get to Mars' surface from Deimos, and 5.5 kilometers a second to get there from Phobos. Given that the difference is so small, it makes more sense to land directly on Mars rather than to land on Phobos first. This is the one you couldn't get past last time. Right? Yeah, man. You can do it. Oh. Oh. oh, see, it's hard. Ran out. It, it, it's, Wasted it. It's it's not. It, yeah, it's hard because like if I don't do anything right, I just sort of let it float down. There you go. Yay! But it's, it's crazy. I only had like. Thrust says that surface doesn't look smooth at all. <laughs> well, I have to make it a little bit more exciting for a Holy game. shit! Okay. <laughs> Insta crash. Okay, this one's gonna be good. Let's do it. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, it starts you going down. Yeah. Wow. And like leaning the wrong direction too. Yep. And you're almost out of fuel. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be like. Hard, like a. Ooh, I have tip. to sort of like. 
an aside, the small amount of fuel given in the game feels far more realistic than traditional Lunar Lander games. It's a good point, man. For sure. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta fucking nail this. Like, it's really... Oh, you can do it. Oh, oh, so close. You're getting pretty close. I was in the right... I, I get the right idea now. Anyone who's punched in the numbers for a rocket equation can explain the mass of a craft as sacred. <laughs> that's, that's the best sentence of the day. <laughs> anybody. Anybody. <laughs> anybody who's done that. I mean... It's every, I do it every second I, day. Yeah, it's like my Tuesday ritual. It's <laughs> punching in numbers to, into the ro rocket equation for the amount of fuel you need to land. Um, you can't just fuel up with tons of reserves like you can on a plane. Oh, so close. Oh. oh. You want to start on level six? Sure. Okay. Don't press any buttons. Okay. Okay, press one button. <laughs> That being, um, you can't just use the fuel up with tons of reserves like you can with a plane. Extra fuel could actually mean mission failure rather than success. As a result, space missions usually need to follow a precise planned trajectory as it's only enough fuel to follow that trajectory. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. I just had a, I'm, I'm, I think this approach is maybe smarter. It's a little more elegant. You know, uh, just... I don't know. Maybe. But you're kind of using fuel as you, you can go faster to the right. <laughs> Well, I it's think. hard because the second, like, like, like I can, but it, but any time I do that, it uses fuel, right? And then now it's too far. But you can press back. But then I'm, but I ran out of fuel. It doesn't use fuel left and right. Oh, it does. Does it? Yeah. Oh. So like, oh shit, I already fucked it up. <laughs> oh. It's hard because like, so like if I go left, look at what happens to the fuel. Oh. Wow. Yes. Yeah. That being said, video games usually focus on more fun than realism. So while we may derive, <laughs> derive the ideas from real life, we need to remember to bend the rules whenever it impacts playability. Ergo, the ability to plug in more quarters into Lunar Lander to obtain more fuel. And this was posted. This was uh, in association with this particular build. Of <laughs> so it's green when you Dude, are find a land on a bat. Oh, you're dead already. Oh, a little bit of flicker there. Let me put you back to level six. Whoa, okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm sure I can. Oh, yeah, you're getting pretty close. Yeah, I think this technique's better because it's There like... you go, there you go. Yes! Ah, oh, see, yeah, I just had to be more elegant with it. Yeah. Hi, all. I know it's weird to bump this thread, but I have some news on this project. First and back. Whoa, from... okay, this shit back just in got 2000... real. Look at this level. Oh, my God. Back in 2007, when I was working on this game, two major shifts in my life occurred. I bought my first home and moved my family out to the suburbs. Whoa, that's a huge, man. It is. My position at the company I worked for was eliminated after a merger created oh, two no. redundant departments. You know. in... Whoa! <laughs> was that your first try? Second try. Wow, that's really good. Dude, huh? look at this shit now. Oh, boy. <laughs> and it's pretty tight in there. Uh... I thought I lost all the work on Demos Lander in the chaos of these two events happening. I couldn't find the code in my development folder and it seemed that any backups were far behind the current state of the project. I was able to create a fra Flash Wii version based on the 4K version of the game since the source code was backed up as in this thread. Contrary to other posts on this matter, the 8 level Flash version was exactly the same as the final 4K version. Recently I started messing around with RetroPie. <gasps> yes. yes, you can do it! No! Oh. Oh, so close. Yeah, I had to let it dip, actually. I just wasted the fuel. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! So okay, close. so that's... It's that possible. Really close. Oh, it's yeah. possible. Uh, it's a great way to relieve old, co relieve oh, old no. consoles. When I loaded my ROM stash up in the retro pal, I was shocked to find a copy of Demos Lander. It was the 32K version. I don't think it has all the levels I had completed when the project was shelved, but it was close. Searching my backups on the ROM date, I was able to find the source code backed up in a place I wouldn't thought it would be. So after 10 years, I can finally give everyone, everyone a Christmas present, the 32K version of Demos Lander. Now, before you get Infinite to... Infinite Lives? No. No. Not at all. It's like... <laughs> that we just... 10? Yeah. Maybe? I, I don't know. Like, maybe like five or something per one. Yeah, Whoa. Some, some glitches on it. Oh, did it crash? As I think so. That's a very crashing, like, screen. Okay, hold down the button. Got it. 
Yeah, there's some glitches here. And there. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's get it loaded back up, and we'll get you back to that. The most lander. That was eight? Yeah. I've been so close a few times. Now, before you get too excited, the game isn't complete, but it's pretty far along and it's highly playable. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, one pixel off. Oh, fuck You're me. So well, it's so hard fuel. because the way that it works is it's not You almost did that on the hard level. Yeah. Because you have 30 less. But it's hard because the it, you you have to let it like glide in because you, you have almost no fuel to, to really like even do this. Like, see, it's like if you bring it to the bottom. Oh, that's sort of... too much fuel going to the bottom. Oh, no, no, maybe not. But see, like, that's the way to do it. But then, oh. but he, I have to nail it, right? Because yeah. there's a little bit of an arc. It's it's actually like... It says it works on Stella, RetroPie, and even the app game's handheld, which is pretty cool, especially for software I'd never thought I'd see again. I'm also attaching oh. a zip of my tool... No, no. Tool chain directory. This has the source and everything used to build it. Note that it's a bit of a mess due to a combination of the alpha state of Batari Basic and a ton of customizations and specialized tools being created. Since I don't know what the tool, what tools are active, you'll find a bunch of stuff that may not be needed. But everything you need should be there if anyone develops the code further. Ooh. Merry Christmas, and everyone, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks, dude. Merry Christmas, yeah. indeed. Oh. Oh. oh, too much. Way too much. Oh, it's hard though, because you have to basically you have to nail it. Like it's there's no question. It so, says mission one, which is fun. Oh yeah, so like so he's planning for like a lot of stages. I think so. But he hasn't uh, he hasn't updated it since then. Christmas no, it's a cool uh, December game. 2017. Yeah, I think it'd be really fun to have a, a ton of different uh, uh, different stages. Oh. Yeah, here you go. I'll start it from the beginning. Yeah, see. So that I can get some practice. Yeah, because you don't you don't want to jump into level eight. <laughs> no. Twenty-five. Oops. Almost too fast. It takes a bit of like finesse this game. Cause that's the that's the best technique is to take it very slow. Use like the minimal amount. Just let it glide down. And adjust as needed. Seventeen left. A oh, hard level would be hard. Cause you should be able to land with thirty left. Oh, close, close. Yeah, dude. Some left. This one's hard cause it's like you have to drop so far. I, yeah. I found this one to be very difficult. Damn it. Because it just takes, you kind of have to, because you have to let it drop ah, and then recover it. <laughs> it's really fucked. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And on hard. <laughs> 35 <laughs> left. Wow. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is where it gets like fairly difficult Jeez. this is the one i was stuck on for a long time yeah but the only the method you're using is the best where you just take it really slow yep and hey, you got this oh my god i was out of fuel yeah i was like oh, i can't do anything landing okay now it's like now it's gonna get like hard ultra hard yeah so like but this is not it's not impossible it's just you gotta like really take your time there's only one way to do it and it's just yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, next one is you're going into uncharted territory. <laughs> yeah. This is the motherfucker right here. And you need a fair amount, so give it a good amount. Yeah. Yay. Oh, uh, close. Yeah, fucking so close, But I did close, run out. Man. But I did run out. Yeah. This is hard because here you need to give it a lot to get it up. Yay, fuck yeah. Let's see what the next one is. <laughs> Incoming message? Oh. Did you succeed? Is that the message? Welcome to Demos. You are to deliver supplies and scientists to our bases. <laughs> Mission, Mission two. two. Ooh. So you can't actually set the game to go here. You have to earn it. You gotta get there yourself. Whoa. Oh. OK, 
Okay, so this is Jeez. next. This is next level. This is this is a new a new world of, of, of pain. Damn it! How much have you played like Lunar Land or style games? Not much because I'm usually terrible at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this too. one's different because it's more arcadey. You just go left and right. There's no turning. Yeah, that's a good point. Turning, I'm not good at. This is not too bad. It's a, it's like its own set of skills, you know. Dude, I don't know how you how you do this. I oh, touched like, it. This is like yeah, <laughs> James Mission Two. Yeah, it yes. is pretty cool, man. It's very cool. Oh wow, level eight. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> so this is all about this game. <laughs> yeah, dude. I this is hard. Yeah, I don't know. Level. Like, uh, I went down too far. Yeah, like it's 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 bordering on like impossible. You almost need to let it like I don't I don't know. You have to let it you have to use less fuel somehow. And I don't know how you do that and not die. Yeah. Because you have to go like it's the Like it's hard does it it's hard to know if it uses less fuel to like um if you drop down quickly, because you if you drop down quickly, you have to use fuel to not die. Dead. Yeah. 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 Incoming yeah. message. You're about called to Earth. Recalled to Earth. Thank you for yeah, your service. Yeah, it's services. like, sorry, kid. So you... this is a good dying message, because you made it to level two. Game over. Can you set it to level two? I don't think you can. No. You, you have to play it off of level eight to get to mission two. Whoa. So you gotta nail this shit. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, the other stuff is... Too fast. And this one is not easy. Yeah, this is not like... This takes... This is a fight. That's what this one is. Yay! Okay, <laughs> good. I only wasted one life. Well, actually, I, I feel like it. Like you get a certain amount of to goes each level. This just seems to be yeah. that's my assumption because, and 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 thrust twenty six is correct. Like if you use a little bit of horizontal movement yeah. to get you there faster, you'll use less of the upward thrusting to keeping yourself yeah alive. So you have, yeah. I know this message. Welcome to the scientists. So you kind of make it. Like, and after you complete level 8. And everything past this is kind of a bonus. So in this, you have to move right immediately. God. It ain't easy flying lunar crabs. But yeah, is it better to go faster left and right? To avoid using as much thrust upwards, it's hard to know, man. Like, so, like, there... or is it better to ease? And also, is it better to ease yourself? Like, oh yeah. See, yeah, yeah, you yeah. dropped quicker, which seemed to be a good call. Yeah. But it's hard because then it's also hard to navigate. Yeah. That's the closest we've gotten, though. Yeah, it is. I actually made it to it. Yeah, which is... No. Yeah, you gotta get going left. Really. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it. God. How many lives? It's like five, six? It's, yeah, something like that. But you died, like, quickly, like, twice. Yeah. What level did you make it to? Eight. Did you make it to eight? Yeah, okay, was... you should do the eight, then. Okay, cool. And try and oh, make what it is to it the game. Is it game selector? Yeah, select. See you I should try and get this one. It's 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 hard, but it's not it's not impossible. Like we know this, the way to do it now. No, close, close. Too fast, recruit. Oh, he had lots of fuel, though. Yeah, I should have gone, like... If you if you'd just made it past that little bit, he would have been fine. Yeah, the secret is to go left faster. A little bit faster. 
because otherwise you're wasting a lot of fuel trying to get over left by maintaining your height. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! It's just drifting so close. too far, man. I mean, it doesn't bode well if I can even get past this. Almost. You had, you had fuel left. Yeah, I yeah. should have just jammed it. Yep. Fuck. Well, like, at least I'm, like, getting close each time. Like, I'm, like, now you're the... getting there faster. That's good. <sighs> yeah, but I... Go back a bit. No yeah. fuel. Come on, buddy. You got this. Don't embarrass us by showing us that message. No. Yeah, go left a little faster to get there faster. Just use less fuel overall. Dipping down too low. Oh, Dipping down too low. Damn it. <laughs> it's not e it, Well, like, I'm like in the ballpark, like, you are, each time. Really, it's just trying to, right like. Idea. It's, it's maintaining just, the it's balance. It's trying to get all the pieces there. And if I can't do this, like, what chance is there for the other one? Slow. Run out of fuel. No. Yeah, that's a pretty good speed. Oh, fuck. Oh, we got some fuel. Not far too far. Yeah, you have to just nail it because if you're too fast, it's yeah. not gonna have to go slow. Nice and slow. Just. No. <laughs> Depends on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Fuck. so close. I was really yeah, close. Yeah, like each time I'm like closer and closer almost. Yeah. That's a nice Fuck. thrust. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Damn, so close. Too fast, friends. Okay. You got this. You fucking. Hammer. I just want to be on the team. <laughs> That's all I want. Put me in the game, coach. Give me, give me one chance. Oh, that was so close. Ran out of fuel. <sighs> yeah, put me in the game. My pitch. I can pitch. <laughs> no. Oh, you're on a good track there, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yes. Oh, no crash? Fuck me. Because your left hand side was off yeah, by pixel, but, like but your pixel, legs were on man. it. I nailed it. Sorry, oh. son. I know. So, you want another go One at it? More and okay. Because I think I like. I, you I, should be able to do it. Well, You're doing all the right things. I'm literally like every time I've done it, I'm like in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. It's just trying to like just get one. There you go. Fuck. You should stop yourself from. Yeah. Moving. Oh yeah, I should I should, I should readjust. Yeah. That's what I'm not doing. Just a, just a touch so you have That's more time to land. Fuck. Yeah, just barely off, as Samaria says. Yeah, Almost. each time, man. Just like. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Yay! Okay, that's all I needed to do was bump it over to the right a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because you were going past it each time. Incoming message. I'm on the team, guys. You made it. You made it. You Landed on Let's see Demos. if I... <laughs> fucking Demos is my place now. Yep. Mm. And now you got to... Uh, the worker camp. Be on Demos and and, and take supplies. <laughs> take supplies to your fellow uh, scientists. <laughs> Crashed. Oh, wow. That's closer than I ever got. Oh. That was really good. Oh. You just went to the right a bit. Uh oh. Fuck, and then I, if I don't beat this, I have to do the other shit. Oh, we're moving on. That's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, three hours of Demos. Yeah, just Demos Lander. We gotta get to mission three. <laughs> Time to crash some scientists, I was supposed to yeah, say. Yeah, fuck these scientists, man. <laughs> They're never making Bunch of home. nerds. 
That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Thrust says claps hand. One hand. Okay. Demos oh. Lander is, oh, is hard, but there's a 2600 homebrew just called Lander, which is even harder. You're Rip. hereby recalled Earth. Thank you for your services. So you hey, got the good man. ending. That's okay. I did make it to Demos. Yeah, you did. Couldn't. I just wasn't very useful for the team. No. I made the team and I scattering supplies all over the moon. out every time. <laughs> oh, what's that cable? Oh, that's uh that is for connecting uh 2600 up coaxially. Oh, okay, cool. So we're going to move on to the next game, which is Abyss of Chernobyl. Oh god damn. That's cool. So this one is by Fair Janis Zoltan, uh, a.k.a. Member Atarian. This is a work in progress. It is brand new. This build is from August 31st, so less than two weeks old. It's a 64K game. It's first posted uh, July 22nd, 2019. Other games, um, this one, Apollyon, Beware, Choplifter, Deathmatch, Dystopia, Fear of the Dark, Gloria, and Plague. I think we played Plague. I think we played Plague, and I yeah. think we played Beware a while back. Uh, I think we played Choplifter as well. Apollyon, which um, is the first person maze game that's oh. very alien-like. Yeah, that's a hard game, that's man. That's hard. Um, oh, yeah, he makes very creative games, if, yeah. I, if I remember him oh, correctly. Yeah. They're like nobody else's games, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, and this is available for download in the Atari Age forums. Um, my new game is under develop it, development. It took three days uh, and a lot of stroke to create. I'm not sure what that means. Um, we all need a little stroke. Yeah. The game will contain four mini games with one specific scene uh, two of two series. As you can see, it has a song, sound of silence and a wave sample of Comrade Dyatlov. Um, add, added the first game and you can try it. And this is the first game. You have to decrease the nuclear fire by releasing graphite on it. Oh, God. If you fly too close or touch the ground, you die. After That's 500 true. points, you get an extra life. Man, like, that real thing was messed up. Like, so many people were sent into Chernobyl to clean stuff up and just, like, vicious radiation poison for years. And a lot of those guys didn't even know uh, what they were oh, walking yeah, into, oh. really. Yeah, no, because they were fed lies and yeah, propaganda and they wanted to it. hide it up like there's a lot of it's it was it's a real complicated business and i think chernobyl to this day is still irradiated you yeah, still you can't, can't go you can't live there you can't do anything there's the there. netflix show that just came out about yeah, i haven't it. watched it it's supposed to be really good yeah i haven't seen it either but truly it's, depressing which uh, yeah. i like those type of films <laughs> yeah, so it's true. works for me yeah, he loves aronofsky movies <laughs> yeah oh, i love about. them <laughs> love them Super depressing and horrendous and yeah, but it gets. The, I know the show gets into some of the um, like bureaucracy of it and some mm. of the stuff too and like yeah. Apparently they had like a like a Geiger counter that maxed out at like three point seven or something, <laughs> and they were like, oh, it's not that radiated, and then they actually checked and it was like two thousand or some oh, crazy thing geez. like that. Yeah, just horrible. Um, so this comes into play with my Harmony Encore and my RGB twenty six hundred. Um. I posted about it on the Atari Age forums that I was having difficulty uh, with games that use the Encore part of the Harmony Encore. Because mm -hmm. there's two cartridges um, that um, was released in the Harmony yeah. line. It's Harmony, Harmony Encore. Encore has more um, RAM, I believe, in it. It has different addressing, um, different addressing capabilities. It has... A more availability for RAM and is able to address more ROM, I believe. And that's why um, I am having... That's why these specific games that use Encore are not working on my system. Yeah. They work for a little bit. Um, if you remember back when we played Penult, I don't know. Um, it, it played for a bit, and got then it glitchy, went through, and then went pff, crash. Um, I have gathered... A list of every single 64k game yeah. that I've found so far. There might be one more, um, and this is one of them that uses the encore part of the cartridge, and it it resets a bunch and it fails at a certain yeah. point. So we're gonna see the failure, and I'm gonna actually show you before we get into that um, the other 64k games. Uh, the one that plays the best 
is probably Robot Z. So we're just going to take a look Let's at that, that really quickly. Each of, one, each of these really quickly. So E, it shows that it's using the Encore part of it. Yeah, instead of the Harmony, is like the spinning... Um, uh, yeah, the spinning logo. So this one plays you, for quite a bit. What do, what do you call that? Oh, yeah. But there you go. That's one of the symptoms. It resets. Oh, I remember this. Whoa. Uh, another symptom is that it has... This one's doing worse than normal. Oof. Usually you can play for a bit. <laughs> Yay, kids! Isn't this fun? Yeah. Okay, this one's terrible. Yeah. Uh, and eventually it'll crash. When it usually crashes... I'm not going to touch anything. There we go. When it crashes, it kind of... The screen goes flicker, 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 then goes black. Sometimes there's like vertical lines. Sometimes a sound will uh, hold. Like if it's in the middle of a sound, you know when games crash and it's playing a sound, it goes, Dee! yeah, that kind of thing. Maybe a slightly higher amp power supply? That is what I have thought. Um, because my system is RGB modded, the RGB um, part of it requires power yeah. to, to use. So therefore there is a draw on mm -hmm. it. That's using part of the power from the power supply. What part? Part of it's for actually running the Atari. Part of it's for the RGB, and also the cartridge needs power too yeah. to run. So I think the combination of the RGB mod plus the additional power needed for the Encore specifically, because I don't have any problems with non-Encore games. Yeah. Um, He's, uh, she says 9 volt 800 MA. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, I suppose to you, you're motherfucker, you are the best. So that is something that I should try. Okay, another one that actually runs. I'm not going to. I have news about pen, Penalt later. Ooh. Actually, I can say it now. We will be playing Penalt yeah. next Wednesday. A unreleased new version of it, Ooh. greatly expanded. Ooh. So we have exclusive new penult RPG game. That's good, man. I, yeah. I, this I is the old love. version because I can't show it off yet. Can't show off the new one, but it does the same thing. So yeah, E. Oh. So I don't know if you remember when we played this and demoed it. See, there's little jumping. Oh yeah, it's glitches. a little crazy, and then you go inside, and, it's, and it gets crazier. Yeah, and, and like yeah, the, the design of the level's cool, but I feel like I'm like on a drug trip of some <laughs> kind, you know, or like I'm, I am just drank too much whiskey. Like, you know, it feels a little, it's like there's it's something, there's well. something slightly like jittery. You well, know? the flashing is like that. Yeah. Oh, now you can see it. Now, oh, now there's a line. Yeah. See, now it just feels now like. Now it's getting out of control. And then there's just a black point. So at some point it will. Weapons. Hey. This one crashes pretty regularly because this one is using a yeah, lot of this advanced is a features. Seizure inducing. <laughs> yeah. Almost, you know. And then your boat, you can drive your boat around. I remember it holding together a bit better last time we played it. Uh, but, um, mm. but, uh. Oh, now half the screen's gone. Yeah, because now it's definitely. Now uh, the, the video is really glitching out. It's like layering two things on top of each other. Like the mountains there are also rock and mountains. Oh, now it's back. Kind of. Sort of. <laughs> Ooh, there, there so you saw the flicker. Yeah, and flicker, it kinda, flicker, flicker, and then it goes and out. out. Yeah, yeah. This game is penalty. Yeah, man. Unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. It's gonna be cool when that. Next Wednesday, we're gonna be showing the brand That's new version awesome. of it. So make sure you're here. It's be very awesome. Um, Zippy the Porcupine. Oh God, I kind of hate this game. Not, not to be. A <laughs> it's dick. challenging, but I'm, it's I'm, it's, it's on me more than it, but. Yeah. This one really glitches out really quite quite quickly as well. It's just a hard, it's a hard genre. Um, just I've ne I've never been a um, uh, one of those fast Sonic moving the Hedgehog. No. no, I don't even really like platformers that much. I mean, I don't mind them at all, <laughs> but you know, it's not my first go. -to. I love platformers, and yeah. this I just can't get the hang of this. I don't know how to play it properly. It's just too fast. Like you're running and oh, it's Aqua doing, Zone. It's doing okay so far. Oh. Oh, <laughs> just glitched out and I fell through the floor. That guy's not supposed to come up from the floor. Or maybe he is. Oh, it's doing okay so far. Oh, I got him. 
Yay! See, this is just not fun in my mind. It's not bad. It's just not. Come on. Oh my god. Like, like the fact- Oh, it's the controls that we had a big problem with. Yeah, but well, the problem is, is you can't adjust as you run. So once you jump, you can't, like, yeah. aim your jump. So it's almost like you have to hit, like, the point at the exact part point, and then almost There's you the just- reset. And then you just, like, go back and, like, retry. It's really rough. So, uh, it just reset. Yeah. When I recorded the video in the thread on uh, Atari Age forums, this one was going nuts. The The title screen it's was, just... like, like half off the screen, Oof. but it's actually doing really well so far. Other than the um, zippy, other than that reset, it looks like like a Mario almost. And then another reset. Uh oh. Uh oh. Zippy works with encore, but not normal harmony. No, you have to have an encore to play this on your. This just Atari. too much processing, right? It's 64k. Yeah. The normal uh, harmony doesn't have the memory to there support you, it. That's why. Go. I'm understanding why people, because I always just wondered, died. I was like, I was like, why do we do like, why are people so stoked on like 32K or 8K? <laughs> and now I, uh, I'm understanding already, already. more. What because, you can do with 64 is huge. Yeah, right? but then it's also glitchy, right? So no, it's no, no, like, no, 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 that's my system. That's your system. Do oh. not blame it on it. Oh. This is my system that I have to figure out. Um, then we will lay, take a look at... This is another Ferris Jenna Zoltan's um, game. Also, uh, I suppose this says clean part pins and cart connector. Then try higher amp. Yes. I will do all those things. My BC the BIOS started glitching. Whoa. Actually, this one's doing really well today. I like that design, like that sound. Wow, this one's doing really well today, actually. Uh, yeah, Ferris Jenna Zoltan's... Um, Whoa. Sounds are. What is it? What's going on? What is this? This game? is a port of a game called Utopia, for the Intellivision. We have not played this. What's going on? Are we? Are you building like like um like tower defense, defense type stuff? Uh, in modern nomenclature, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, this is doing really well. So today. you like build these like towers and and then people you attack. You build defenses. You build um attacks. Are people attacking you now? Not yet. But they but the will computer be. is playing me. I think right now I'm building up. I'm, You're getting ready. Like turn for based. A, and there's like a fish. But I don't know how to play it because I've never played this before. Wild. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. I think I can only deal with your own guys. Does Stella play Zippy? Yeah. Oh yeah, Stella plays everything. Yeah, yeah. You can always emulate stuff. Yeah. So you, it's no problem playing playing it. I feel like I'm. A, there, it just reset. Danger. Will Robinson. This is doing better than normal. Danger. Today it's doing really good today. <laughs> yeah. And it's resetting again. Anyway, we don't have to wait till it all dies, but every 64K game, 4K game eventually oh, dies. Oh, so we're going to briefly look at Abyss of Chernobyl on the actual hardware. Ah, uh, and then we'll probably pop. Then over we'll go to it. Stella. That makes complete yeah. sense, man. So this is his new newest game. You can't actually even get into the game. It shouldn't be doing all this glitchy. Cool as it looks. <laughs> like it's if you were. I love I love glitches. I love watching real glitches. Yeah. Because sometimes like you'll get the I, with like <laughs> film projects, I get the job to try to like emulate glitches. It's yeah. cool to look at the real glitches because they're always more interesting than like fake glitching. Because fake glitching is just dumb. It's like oh. Uh. Yeah. But like real glitches are like always cool, and even the sounds that come out sometimes are just. Yeah, like... It shouldn't look like this. Oh. Like like even that sound that's so cool. Kind of works. The for sound a of silence, yeah, man. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> okay. I've come yeah, it's to gone talk to, to you again. It's gone into darkness, so we're going to switch over to Stella. Oh, yeah, it's a good call. Yeah, it's the only option. It is. So let's go over to that. I'll hand you the controls. Oh, sick. Oh, you got a you got a controller? Yep. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, no keyboards. So we don't have to switch seats. That's awesome. There's no 
And I like these controllers. This oh, reminds yeah. me a lot of um. Uh... Well, it's an SNES controller. Yeah. Um, okay, let's switch it over. Whoa, yeah, so check it out. Classic. What about Uno Kart? These are good questions that James oh, can answer. Oh, yeah, what about the Uno Kart? It has the same issue. Really? Um, it works on every system except for my RGB modded. So I believe if I can solve the Encore issue, yeah. I can solve the Uno Kart issue. Mm. Because they both have very similar, like it doesn't boot on the RGB modded. Because I think it takes up more power. Um, so if I get a higher amp power supply, it may work. And that would be a godsend. Yeah, dude. So well, And good. it also sounds like, what did he say? You got to clean some stuff too? Yeah, I'll do all of that. But it definitely sounds more like a power issue. Yeah, Splendid, Splendid Nuts, Nuts says the same. confirms that. Also, that's hilarious. RC70, your, your kid wants to, wants to play Zippy. That's oh great. yeah if you like um sonic and... sonic you probably love zippy yeah dude hell yeah but i just can never get into sonic never... so it's, it's i'm not a good judge of playing zippy the porcupine Same. even though i have i bought the <laughs> bought it in uh in the box okay so let's get to screen capture there we go yeah, I like games that you have to like pull up spreadsheets for. Oh, and, like demos the line. You know, try to like learn the, oh, the ins yeah. and outs. You know, I want to I, I want to have those to research for like you know an hour to figure <laughs> out like what the best combination of like potions combined. You know, like I love games like that. that have, like, eight letters. Whoa, there we go. That looks way better. <laughs> well, yeah. Sexy playing back properly. Uh, a is, there's only one button, so it's A. Oh, there's there. Because I was uh, not in focus. Ah, cool. Well, that's way too big. Uh-oh, one second. My ears, someone's getting hurt. Oh, sorry. Sorry, friends. My, my ears. Sorry, friends. Yeah. Okay. Let's make this smaller. Yeah, she says he doesn't come from a programming background. Uh, oh, this? This was Paris Splendid Nuts said. Yeah, he said, yeah, and surprisingly, he does not come from a programming background. Oh. I feel like he's referring to the, the developer of this game. Oh, well, he's pretty good for not coming from a programmer background, that's for sure. He's, he's done some really... Um, console platform pushing work that nobody else does out there. Should I? So so now you can go for it. There you go. Okay. Hey. Oh, you have to go press down. And only Hellgate, because he's got... Okay, let's go through them. AZ5, Hellgate, okay. Suicide Squad, Black Raven, 90, 90 seconds. seconds. So, but like the only one that he's got is, is Hellgate. Hellgate. So he's working on it one by one. Whoa. Yeah, he's very flashy with his... Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so... What, okay. What the fuck is going on? So, is that me? So you only get so many buckets. Do not fly directly over it, because you will die. You have to think about the the swing of it. You have to go back. Get okay. another bucket. Give me, the, give me that bucket. Catch it on the swing back. Oh, I see. Oh, you flew over it. Okay. Death. Okay, so... Ah, uh, too close. Added the first game and you can try it. You have to do game over. Oh god damn it! And I, it's got no. Hey. Yeah. You have to listen to music. <laughs> I love there's 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 uh, been it's like is this the final countdown or the sound <laughs> of silence? And it sort of is both. Yeah. <laughs> It's because of the a okay, atonal okay. uh, notes that yeah. the 2600 has built in, he's used the built-in notes, and he's done his best to make this the music. Yeah, he's got well, he's got one or two that totally work. Oh yeah, you because we're on um. Anyway. Oh right, that doesn't work at all. Okay, this oh, is nice and close by. Don't have to get up. Oh, it's probably too loud for everyone out there. Let's tone that down a bit. Whoa. Oops, sorry. What's going on with my guy? Okay. I'll 
Xbox Game Game. Yeah, remember Atari's game are very ambitious, especially for Atari Basic games. Yeah, they're extremely ambitious. Um, but his Apollyon game one, um, was in the running for best work in progress last year. I think year? it was best uh, programming or best graphics. Gra or best graphics or something. Cause he, it was... he got in for best sounds and graphics, and for some of them, I can't remember. He he got in for a bunch of a bunch of games. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out because that. because like um, Impaler says, very ambitious. <laughs> Not getting it on quite the right swing, there. When it's at its height to the left. Oh, oh been too close. Too close. You don't only get limited buckets. Fuck. I'm pressing it right. Well, it's hard. It's at its height. It's hard there. to like. There. It's because I have to get close. <laughs> yeah, and then I got too close. And so that's the problem. I'm so to scared to, like, go. Oh, this is hard. Uh, a leather improvement. I added the rope and the cargo. Its movement depends on how you drive. And sometimes a little drops of boron fall. In this game, one... In the game, one some levels. Hell's Gate Suicide Squad, 90 seconds. You will listen to drone permanently to give a disturbing atmosphere. Of course, you'll be able to turn it off with the left difficulty switch. That Ooh, close. Like, I almost have to, like, get as close as I can and then, like, there, let it go at the last second. There'll be a sound effect later telling you how close uh, the radiation level is. I will add it later. I believe he's uh, Hungarian or P Polish. Oh, so close. Maybe on the swing towards it. That's the go goal, but then like it's hard because you You're can't get it on the swing because you can't get too close, right? Right. Oh. oh. Like you kind of have one go at it, right? And then like too <laughs> close, right? Yeah. Because it's like whenever I. Ireland, like... stay further back and toss it. Hungary. I, yeah, Hungary. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> this is the <laughs> <Of> idea. <laughs> it's like I get it. <laughs> Oh my god. See? It's not... It's, it, that's, oh my that's god. Like, that's like being like, it's so easy playing tennis, just knock the ball perfectly <laughs> into the left corner and then I knock was, it back. I was just, just make the three-pointer, just why aren't you... <laughs> I was playing this earlier and I wasn't having any trouble. It's, yeah, because it's, it's, it's not easy because you, you kind of have one oh go god. at it almost, right? Because it's like you kind of you kind of have to get super close in one motion, not too close, mm -hmm. and then c catch it on its like way up. Hmm. Um, no, I don't believe the game called Penalt is complete. Although we're gonna play oh, it next no, no, week. Oh no, 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 no! Um, Far from complete. But we're but it's been so it's been some major progress on it. Yeah, there. Um, well, we'll get into it next week. Wonder but. if you get closer, like. Yeah, good. See, because it swings, and if you don't get it while it's swinging, it calms down. Exactly, but see, that's like you nailed it. Like I don't know how much better you get, right? Because you you, you moved really close well, and of, then let go. Out of buckets. I guess the only thing maybe, to do is kill yourself. Do you get, you just get maybe like really close. Because because it, it also seems to arc back, man. Like I don't know how to do it. Well, that's just. Oh, nice. thanks for resubbing, Ground Trooper. I really oh, appreciate that, man. Oh, thank you so much. Hopefully, you had a nice walk, dude. Mm. I am resubbed. Oh, did, did it come on the screen? Oh uh, no, but it? his icon's back. Oh, yep. Yeah, that definitely means he's subbed. Okay. Yeah, I think you had it there for a second the first time, but you didn't let it go properly, oh, and then you die. God. Yeah, you see, it's like, it's easier. It looks so much easier than it is. It's really annoying, because... <laughs> I was not having trouble. I, I actually completed and put out the fire, because you have to drop, like, five buckets on it. Yeah, I haven't gotten one. Like, that's, that's, a, Neither bad, have I. that's a bad sign if you can't even get one. I'm going to use keyboard. Yeah, back to the keyboard. Dun, 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 Just to dun. see. He says, can you get closer when you're higher? These are good questions. Uh, oh, maybe. Maybe it's proximity. I doubt it, though. I think it's just... No. Yeah, it's, it's just death. It's and just it's hard to know. It's vertical. like hard to aim it, right? Because you have to get close to swing it, but not too close. So you almost have to, like... Yeah, like, there you almost had it, but I think you needed to, like, wait for it to... But even Why then, it... it, like, fucking arcs back. Like, Why is it always gonna... on the backswing? Why is it always toss yeah. it backwards? Which implies that I have to do it earlier. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, maybe but it's like... when I do it earlier, it just goes straight down. Damn, Damn it. That's...
that's just mistakes. Mistakes have been made. Oh, because of momentum. Yeah, you have to... Oh, you you know what you have to do? What? You have to go forward and then back. Weird. Really? Yep. God damn. Okay. That's why. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Whoa, that's how it's done. Fuck yeah. Whoa. Hey, we can do this now. That's easy. Whoa. Oh, you don't even need to be that close. No. Okay. So this is a different game now. You still have to do have to aim for it. Oops. Yeah, but at least at least you can like get it. I mean, before it was like there was no chance. Yes. Fuck yeah. Okay, good. Did it? Yeah, momentum. That's what it is. You need the momentum, and then you have to go back. Yay. Okay. So that the bucket keeps keeps going, but you don't. Oh, so it's kind of like you just throw it back. Yeah. Wow. Which is really kind of cool, like that mechanic I haven't it, seen in a game where yeah, you it, use momentum to throw something that's attached to you. Of course, I've, I've lost because I have no more buckets. So your only option is to only die in a fire. Your <laughs> only option is to... Okay, now, see if I can, now you have a chance. See if I can do this. There you go. First try. Give me some stuff. Alright. Give me that. Give me them buckets. Um, give me, give me a bucket. It must be a limitation of Batari Basic. Um, the helicopter is always flickering, but it doesn't need to be flickering because he's using two of the players. I guess that's in case he goes down close enough to the fire. It's just always flickering rather than because Batari Basic doesn't have flicker management. I'm guessing. So you have to define, oh, uh -oh. it just always flickers. Uh-oh, one last one. Come on, friends. Oh, close. Oh, no. Close. Got him in the way. There you go. Yay! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> that theme music uh, stuck it's, with it's you. It's my favorite Assault theme song. On Precinct 13. It's so good. It's and like, it's like any, a... anything, any scene is <laughs> so much more intense with that. Just imagine, like, just hanging out on the bus, just 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 a bus driver, anything. I love that theme so much. And it's like a fifteen second loop. Yeah, it's like he just that's John Carpenter though. He just had this way of finding these like themes that like he'd found like one little uh simple melody that just Oh, you're out of buckets, you have to die in a fire. Oh no. Same with like Halloween, right? You get five buckets each life? Oh my god. Yeah, Halloween. Like, it's like that same... Oh, you got it. That same thing where it's just like... It doesn't did, work did, well did, on did, newer did. Stella. This doesn't? Well, this is this is the newest Stella, 6.01. Is there a newer one? Uh-oh. They didn't release a newer one, did No! They? Oh, you have to die Sorry, in a fire. Sorry, friends. Gotta Pearl Harbor this. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. Because you start out with, like, ten buckets, but each life, when you start uh -oh. again, you only get five. Yes, nailed it finally. So what do you get? Oh, you get more when you start. Complete, yeah, more when you complete a level. Dude, Imagine. Really good. Uh oh. Whoa! I don't know what's up. Go ahead. All of a sudden, it's oh. <laughs> oh no! What happened there? I don't know. It got hard real quick. You can. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Um. So in interesting game, and, and it's just a mini game. Yeah, I like to try. Like the other uh, ones. five, five other ones. I love the kind of like gas mask, kind of Chernobyl like aesthetic. One of my oh, favorite yeah. games of all time is this game called Metro Twenty Thirty Three, mm. which is like in like a nuclear waste. And the thing is, is you live in these metros. Mm. And the cool thing about it is, if you go up onto the surface, you have to wear a gas mask. But your gas mask has cartridges, so you oh, have a yeah. limited amount of time, and you can if you can like, scounge and find bodies. And so you have to like navigate through this like metro that's like that's like underground and it's all the Chernobyl aesthetic. It's in Russia. Oh. And it's got the best sound design ever because like as you're out on the surface, your the your breath is like and then as you start to like get less and less stuff, you go it's like like it's like that's part mm. of the whole aesthetic. So it's a very cool game. I uh, love this kind of style. 
Yeah, Metro 2033. Yeah, we're using um, Stella 6.01. You can see it right here and, up um, at the top. So it works totally fine on this one. Yeah. Um, doesn't work on old Stella for me, too. Yeah, you make, make sure you get at least 6.01. Yeah. Works on this. And the other cool thing about Metro 2033 is the only game design thing I've ever seen this happen. The currency in the game is is military rounds. Yeah. So what happens oh. is is you can Makes sense. you can shoot with your military rounds which do extra damage, but then you're uh. using your currency or you oh. can just save it to buy like upgrades to your guns and then That's use like the cheap ones. So rather than getting gold, it's like so you find these special bullets and you just and on the hardest difficulty, bullets are so like you know, uh, so there's so few of them that like you end up having to use the the other ones. So, oh, got it. Uh, yeah, Shadow Chernobyl's a good game too, man. So we're gonna play Beast next. Um, there's a line count issue with Beast. Uh oh. Um, so we're gonna have to play it on stella again oh, but okay. i will show you what it what happens when you do play it on uh actual hardware and then we'll take a look at the line count and uh hopefully help out uh nomad game dev yeah um make his more game more compatible so this uh build is is brand new and this yeah, build is dude, from three days ago the stalker games are so good but they're like yeah. so hard <laughs> you have to calculate like bullet trajectory oh shit like gosh. that wow they're they're intensely meta um but they're very cool aesthetics they're they're very neat i wish there was like a skyrim style game that was set in that milieu you know oh yeah that would be fun a fun open world game where you get to kind of screw around because i love that aesthetic beast right yeah, so this is gonna And then bottom yeah. one? Yeah. This is gonna go nuts right away. But it should display something. It's gonna go nuts for a second. Because it does not have I think it has a line count of two hundred and sixty one. Whoa. So it's all weird and your guy is like <laughs> this is on death. the top and bottom and beast on the bottom is like super squishy. Um but we'll take a look at it. Yeah, you can't really move. Actually, what I was going to show before uh -oh. this, uh -oh. because this is an homage to, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's not working. So, that's, that's, that's like sad music playing, dude. <laughs> this is some sad music. It's like solo, like little do, pipe. Do, do, do. So we're going to take a look at what this game was influenced by. Oh, cool. Um, it's an Amiga game. <laughs> it looks like your frame might sure think it's interlaced. Actually, yeah, it, it does. It's all super squished. Um, so, let's... Whoa, okay, that's cool. Click this over so you guys can see this. This is a very popular um, Amiga game called Shadow of the Beast. Whoa. Where's the beginning of it? There we go. This looks beautiful. Oh, yeah, some great pixel artwork in this game that tree is amazing look at that oh it's beautiful and this was <laughs> <laughs> what is this is this 80s it has to be 80s. yeah yeah and this was known for i think it was uh mid to late 80s yeah there's a certain aesthetic like this was known for its uh, parallax scrolling yeah. in the background and its gorgeous pixel artwork inside Skip some of the winding staircase. Oh, badass. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, just look at this really guy nice just looking. hanging out. So, this was credited as um, Nathaniel's uh, influence. Uh, this is made by Natal Nathaniel Vasconcelos Litayo. Oh this guy's got to get a weapon. He's just punching <laughs> like Minotaur. I don't think he gets a weapon. Huh? I've, He's a beast, I guess. He doesn't need I've it. I've never played this game, but it's super popular in the Amiga scene. So Beast is a 2600 D make of the Amiga game. Yes, that is. A D make is a hilarious term. I, it's totally accurate. But yeah. It's just, I find that to be hilarious. Just like Halo 2600 and um, the other game that we Unreal played. Tournament. Unreal Tournament 2600. Are like are are both D, D makes. And they're very well done D makes. Yeah, very cool. And they, they keep, keep like the spirit of it alive in and, this and cool the basic way. elements of it. That's hilarious. Look at that gold coin. It's got a coin. key. Yeah, this feels like um, uh, the era that I started playing um, uh, like arcade games. 
You know, yeah, like yeah. if you like you think about like Mortal Kombat, you know, like it has that similar aesthetic where it's kinda like Oh, it didn't have vertical parallax? I'm gonna watch it when it goes up here. No, it stays. Ah. Naughty naughty, no vertical parallax. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Um, so that is uh that is where the game comes from. So we're gonna take a look at the he said, game. when do you call it a port and when when a D make? I, I don't know. That's how close it is. How close you can do it? Because twenty six hundred super limited. Yeah, because Halo is a good example. Because there's no fucking way you can remake Halo on yeah, twenty six hundred. You, you can't. If it's a two D game going to a two D game, it's probably close to a port. But if it's a three D game going to a two D, that's definitely a D make. Like yeah. If, if it drops drastically, and you have to change some of the the because yeah, especially taking first person into 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 second person. Yeah. When it's not going to match closely? Yeah, that sounds about right, man. That's yeah. pretty accurate. Um, or it just keeps the uh, the spirit of it. So let's take a look at this. Whoa. There we go. The beast. Get the volumes here. Good. And you have the control? No. No. Okay. So there you go. So you can see there's the guy again. There's the trees. Is it better than the other one? <laughs> better than like... The, the, the first view at it? Yeah, the first crazy wow. scrolling yeah. around. Okay, so like... So uh, the Beast Manual. And we've got the uh, developer in the chat. Hey, Nomad, Ga Nomad Game Dev. Nomad. Fuck yeah, where am I going though? I'm just kind of moving... Yeah, I think there's a bit of a... I play it for a second, I was like, oh, there's nothing happening. But they do come. The, the enemies come eventually. There you go. Whoa, holy shit. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Punch, punch, oh. punch. There we go. I feel like I'm like... There we go, I gotta get so the timing So this is version, right. version one of the game. Actually, if you hold still for a second... Oh. Uh-oh. I'll tell. Um, you can see... No, don't. Up at the top... Uh, it says 271 lines. Um, it should be 262. And also, when you move, there's some uh, line count changes. By yeah. you can see it in the red, which creates dropout on modern uh, modern systems, modern televisions, and obviously mine with the Frame Meister. Yeah. So I just. For any reason, this version of Stella doesn't display HUD. What? Okay, but yeah, um, Nomad Game Dev, you want to press Alt L to take a look at the line count, and definitely tilde to do a frame by frame to see where you're dropping out on uh, the line count because you definitely want to have a stable I'm line punching count. Punching deer, this <laughs> deer just running at me. I'm punching them. Well, they remind me of. Oh, you made it. Ooh, second level. Very yeah. nice. Remind me of those. Boston dynamic robots. Oh yeah, that you can right? uh, people kick around. <laughs> it's so was, sad. They always kick them in the videos. Yeah, and it's like Jesus Christ, guys. That's the best way to, to test for stable. I do How get that, is. but it's just it's so dark, you know. It's just... oh, two seventy is per perfectly acceptable. Yeah, two seventy one. I don't know. Is is uh, odd line counts? Yeah. Um, obviously, that's causing an issue here. Um. And also the jumping of the line counts. That's definitely an issue. But it has to be stable, yeah. It's punching snowballs and, and deer. Just like a, you're yeah. right. The butt. Don't they look like it? Because they've got yeah, that, they have that back kind end. Of, uh... Sticking out back end and the two legs. Or the legs. Um, so the story. For many years, Ar Arbron... Arbron? Almost close to your name. Hey! Like Arbron. That's, that's good. Was faithful to his mentor, sometimes playing the role of messenger, sometimes the Whoa. executioner. He did not question his own acts, only obeyed the orders, even though they were grotesque and immoral. Fucking bureaucrat. Oh, but there was a day <laughs> there was a day when something when something left behind pieces of his heart. Oh. The beast witnessed a fact that Holy would shit. that what, would leave what? him very sad. Did you see that? Did you die? Yeah, but it was like I got close to it, it appeared, I walked away, it disappeared, I got close, oh. it appeared, and killed me. Well, we're gonna have to reset. Back to the beginning. Leave him very sad, not only that, but also extremely annoyed. His old village, along with his old friends and family, were decimated, precisely by the one that Arbrom served for so many years. Oh, oh it says Darcy. You're not Darcy. Because I have to change all these different scenes. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, look, I can't. Something's going on, James. Go. I know. There you go. Now you have control back. Okay, here. good. I lost Because I was changing things over here, so it loses focus I lost on the 2600. Health. Hopefully you didn't lose too much. That's okay. Just a couple. I'm just going to punch these deer for the... The reasons are unclear, but nothing matters now. He is already correct towards your former mentor for one reason only. To take revenge. This is like a fucking like, like martial arts movie plot. And it fits oh. because I'm punching. It's pretty good. Um... I would say this is a port. I don't know about a D make because it's very similar. You have this. Yeah, you have the dude. guy. You have the scrolling. I mean, if there were like ladders and stuff, I could climb. Like that would that would. That would be more. That would, yeah. Because so at the moment, like there's almost no point in jumping. Cause, or like, ducking. You can yeah. duck too. Yeah, I mean, because like, you I can't could... punch while you're running, right? And you can't punch while you're jumping, and you can't punch while you're ducking. Yeah. So like. Like, see, I have better luck just, like, timing these punches rather than trying to dodge it, right? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Like... Way easier. Yeah, you've got the timing down for those. But see, like, at a certain point, this guy sort of appeared out of nowhere and killed me, so, like, I'm waiting for that to happen again. Because it might be a feature, it might be a bug. God knows. Because um, it was invisible, it, like, just appeared out of nowhere. Do you know it says, On PAL systems, odd line counts result in black and white display. The PAL... Game Rock and Rope by CBS is released is released game with this issue. Oh, that's terrible. Uh oh. Uh, zero page home to try centering the picture manually. Alt page up and page down. Fuck you, dear. This is what you get. What? You can see the whole picture. Okay, stop. And see what he's. What, what crazy. Oh, oh, that's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. Oh yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty. That's pretty good. It's pretty decent. Yeah. Hey man, we're learning stuff every day. Bottom is see cut off. See this thing? You see it? It's not cut off. It, like appears? I don't you can totally you, you see everything. I, you, like what? Oh. Oh. Do I punch it? No, you're not high enough to punch it. Careful. But you can't duck and move, can you? Dude, I'm just gonna. Oh, you have to time it. I'm just gonna run away. No, you have to time it. Well, it's not visible. Oh, that was close. Careful. Careful next time. Being fast and loose with your. Oh, that one's good. Okay. That's a good obstacle. You don't see that too many. Where no, you have, it's well, like invisible. You, you, you do that, see lasers that, that, in games that, that you have to me, go like, through. That killed me really intensely last time. So it's cool. So far we got deer, we've got invisible appearing eyes, and we've got snowballs. Boulders, snowballs. Hey, Damn. you made it! Oh, you're back up above ground again. Whoa. Okay, let's see if there are any other enemies that are going to come. Arbrox, is that his name? What's his uh, name? Arbron. Arbron. That's cool. Goal, it? cross all scenarios until you reach the interior of your former men mentor's castle. So we haven't been there yet. Dude, I'm gonna get to this fucking castle. Be careful on the onslaught of stones. So there's stones. Bats, insects, snakes, and mystical eyes. That's what those disappearing there we go. things are. What were. are these called? What are these? Uh, stones. Okay. That's what I'm guessing. I think I've seen any bats, have I you? I feel like snowballs is funny. <laughs> What are the deer or the robots? What are they Developer called? Developer says the HUD is missing. We don't see a HUD on our screen. Okay, one second. Good question, dude. Let's ah. let's fix your HUD. Thanks for letting us know. Oh. Whoa. Oh, because the game is so tall. Ah. Oh. Well, what should we cut off the top? I guess. Yeah, because it's like it's it's so far that's not actually. It's too many lines. It's too many lines on this game. Do we make it smaller then? Uh, no, because the view screen is only so big. Like we need to squish it somehow. How do you how do you vertically squish? Any anybody Stella? know? I'm sure people do. There's got to be someone. Because literally, else. it's off the tele. Stella I'll just keep screen. punching these deer. Just like the bottom was off before. Yeah, thanks for letting us know, dude. Wow, that is way too much space between the playfield and HUD. Yeah, it could be a lot shorter, and he could reduce it to 262 for sure. So there's some suggestions. Whoa! Um, to avoid being hit, you must attack uh -oh. some and deflect others. Oh fuck! I just timing, got, man. I timing. lost like so much already. Oh, it's different this time. It doesn't yeah. just disappear. I don't know how to get my health back, too. Like you know. Oh. oh come on! You're almost dead. You gotta make it to the castle at least. I gotta do the castle. It's just the. It just literally lost all my health in the last like two seconds. I was doing so well. Oh, I think they're done. Okay, good. Those are the ones that'll fuck you up. Yeah. It's just because I'm an idiot. But I can't get any health back. Is there any way to get health back? Yeah, I think there is too much vertical space for a TV. It would... oh. What? Oh, 
You're dead. Whoa. Dead. Oh, God. And now I gotta go back. Oh, you got eight lives. There we go. Oh, no. So now you can at least know. Uh, joystick makes our Brom move left and right, crouch, jump, and attack. Left difficulty, uh, enable, disable the song. Does everybody love the song? Tell me if you want me to turn it off, because it is continuous. Uh, right difficulty, enable, disable mount challenge mode. This makes enemies faster and halves the hit points. So far, you only have to punch them once, everything, don't yeah. you? Didn't have to punch anything that twice. That snake, though, that was next level. Yeah, you just needed to turn yeah, it around surprised you because it came from the back, right? Yeah. Go Credits. Creator is Nathaniel Vasconcelos Litayo. Oh my god. Sorry. Butchering your name. Uh, compiler, Batari, uh, Batari Basic. He thanks Arnaldo, Mundo 4K, Random Terrain. Um, I'm guessing for his uh, tutorial. Developer considerations. The purpose of this game is nothing more than to reproduce the Atari 2600, the same feeling when I was playing Shadow of the Beast. A Commodore Amiga classic. A game that struck me for its enigmatic mood and its magnificent soundtrack. Wow. Despite the huge power difference between hardware, I think I can re reproduce the main aspects of the game on which it was based. So far, so good. Uh, please do not see this game as a game with unprecedented purpose or as a direct conversion. It's simply a realized vision of a game that I love so much for a console I admire so much. There's a lot of ports made um, for the Atari 2600. So, Invisible Eye is going to come up real soon. I can um, just feel it. D-makes um, are a lot more ambitious, but a lot of people go for ports of games that were out during the time of the Atari 2600, but, they, but just never got released. And they would have loved to have on like that. Okay, this First, the 2600 lasted from 77 to 91, so there's a lot of games that were put oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, man. What console does that? There's no other console. No. That's unprecedented. I think it's one of... I think it is... Oh, see? Like it, it surprised you, though, right? Yeah. But now I gotta just take, take my time. It, and the problem is, is there's no, like... There's no way to get more health, which is Not rough. so far. No pickups. No, nothing. There's a 2D make of Portal for the 2600. Yes, that's right. And it's Portal's actually, a good game. It's man. actually a pretty good D make. Portal's one of the like one of the best games of all time. Like that's a very very cool concept. I believe. Oh yeah, yeah, totally unique. I believe you used two joysticks in Portal 2600. Yeah. One for moving and one for aiming your portal gun. Cool. I swear we played it on the show. Yeah. I'm like a hundred percent. There's certain. like long time ago. where Portal gets really cool is there's two they need levels. To update it. There's the original like normal one, and then there's the hard level. Mm. Hard level is next level. It's so cool. Mm. Also, the story of Portal is good, which is like who would think that just like shooting portals would yep. be a good story. Thrust says he looks like he's skating. What is it? <laughs> Valve is the is the yes. guys right, and they That's also right. did Half Life. That's right. Half Life. Very, very good cool developer game. of games. They created and they cre Steam. Yeah. Created Steam, very very popular. Um, game distribution system yeah now they don't make games anymore because they're just raking in the cash yeah Steam. why why do they need to <laughs> they don't have to do no that. they don't do anything but everybody begs them for more more half-life and portals totally i mean that's tough though i mean it that's is. like making like it's like francis for coppola what are you doing oh it's just hit the wrong Wasting button lives um yeah people love your stuff but then there's so much pressure yeah, it's like to, after to you make the Godfather and Apocalypse now, it's like good luck. <laughs> good luck topping that or meeting people's expectations, yeah. right? This fucking invisible guy is going to appear soon. I just know it. There yeah. you go. Nice. Then there's snakes after this. And then probably the castle. Hopefully. Maybe. I hope so. You got a, I mean, I've, most of your lives. You, you I lost a couple lost just, just being stupid. Yeah. But like, it's all good better than last time last time was like like right here i just lost all my lives yeah all in a row so stupid okay i think i made it past okay just gotta, watch out for snakes gotta get ready snakes snakes just remember to just turn around and get ready with the punch yeah I'm your ready. one weapon the mighty punch i'm fucking ready to go <laughs> taking it easy eh? well i'm just you might as well just run because i know that snake's gonna come at any point oh, oh he hit you Reminds me of this the snake. It reminds me of what is it? Kung Fu Master, 
when you're walking along the corridors. And you do have to turn around in that game and punch things coming from behind and front. Very good game. A lot of snakes. Oh my god. Well, I think I think I have to get out of the screen yeah. if they're coming. Yeah. But the problem is is I also need to kill them. So like if you probably stayed in one spot they'd be in So now I don't know what's happening next, so I'm gonna take it like fairly slow. Yes. Could just be cause any direction. Well it could be those eyes, it could be a snake, it could be like a snowball. What bat? Oh Fuck. duck, 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 duck. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, if there's bats nearby, must be the uh, castle the coming castle. soon. Oh, come on. I want to... My mentor led me astray. Destroy him. He was Destroyed immoral. Destroyed my family. Also, this dude probably needed to, like, seriously think go. about his morality and his ethics instead That's of just great. being like, I'll just follow I'll blindly. I'll do whatever you say. Oh. Oh, back to the forest again. Oh, your quest is not over. Oh, it didn't say how many levels there were. No, and I would love it if I could get some health. <laughs> That would be it's nice. just a marathon. <laughs> What's moment. coming? I bet it's boulders. I bet you I gotta jump over some shit next. Do you know what I mean? Because it's sort of what they've been throwing like, oh, different mechanics. Oh, yes. I bet you it's something I have to like jump over. Well, a nomad game dev said, Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I thought I had... You're gonna lose it. Yep. It's over. <laughs> That's way too hard. And there's no way to really do anything about it. It just happened no. so fast. Yeah. Well, you gave it a very good run at it. Yeah. I think that's a good, um, a good port, oh. actually, of that game. You can oh. jump or punch the snake. Oh, no. so the uh, snake, I think punching, punching is better. Yeah, because if you're jumping to the left, you're actually going backwards. Correct. So Versus stopping, wanna... punching, moving forward, stopping, punching, yeah. moving forward. That's the way to do it. Great stuff. Um, I think all you need to do is fix the line count. Yeah, man. I would love to have ability to get some health, too. I mean, just... <laughs> Just because yeah, it's that. kind of, it's hard because it's like, you know, it's such a marathon. Random, um, a random drop would every be awesome. once in a while yeah. when you kill an enemy. It just stays there on the screen and you pick it up. But not too often. Yeah, just a couple. Because like there was times I just made like stupid mistakes and then it was like, well, I guess I just reset the game. Like it's, yeah. you know, not as fun as This is the second there. forest. What's after this? Is it the castle? It, it must. It or, must be. Or maybe it's a reset because everything moved faster, so it might be like I have to oh. do all of them faster than the oh, thing. Oh boy, yeah, they were really fast. Okay, now we're gonna get into Boulder Dash. We're try going to try and defeat level D and make it to the next checkpoint. James, you're gonna be the one playing <laughs> this shit. I don't... Have you played Boulder Dash? I did, and I it was embarrassing how badly I did. <laughs> oh no, it was not good. Don't have to hold down anything. Oh yeah, it's a real cartridge. That's only because of the harmony. And the way it detects uh, uh, this oh, yeah. controller. Oh, there you go. Okay. This is... Yeah, because you'll be able to do it. I won't. And and Thomas Yench is one of the developers of this game. Thomas. So he can. Oh, help dude, us he out. said the next entrance of the castle. Oh. So we were so close, dude. Nomad. We'll give it another try on the next update. How yeah, dude. That? Yeah, definitely next update. Give him, give me some lives. Yes. Yeah. Or something. Okay. Turn that down. It's very loud music in this game. There we go. I, I, th I think it's so hilarious that in Beast you just punch things. It's so funny. See, because I make it to Cave D but can't do Cave D. Because the next one is Cave E that you can set yeah. it on. <sighs> so you gotta go. go. You gotta go through the whole thing. And make it to level. Oh, that's a little bit too quiet. There we go. So there's no music during the game, so. But they're good practice to uh, make it. Boom. Any over there? I don't think so. No. Boom. Come on. Boom. What a good sound. It's like a Mac. Oh, yeah, great It's like sounds. a Mac dropping, like, something lower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, moving a file in a Mac. It's like, it has that dung sound. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, the Mac sounds for things that go successfully. I always found that word, they don't sound... No, like, they, they sound like, like, a, like something went right. really wrong. <laughs> it's like, bong. It's like, oh, you did something successfully. It's like success, kids. 
Okay, now the exit, I believe, is on the right. Come on. Oh, there's still more to go. Oh, yeah, I, I looped around the wall. I haven't played this in a while. In a month, I think, it was the last time we played it. Yeah, I think so. That sounds about right. We played it with Tanya last, and we... We played it, too. Yeah. Um, it's a difficult game, There though. we go. Still too quiet. Too quiet for you guys? Okay. Oh, thanks for letting us know. Yeah. Oh, because in-game, yes. That's right. It's quiet in-game. Just the music is blaring. Okay. Now this one, I think you go over to the right first. There's one... One over here? No. Is there one over here? Yep. One over here. Ooh, don't let yeah, that, that beast thing. out. That is deadly. Man, I gotta admit, the only movie I'm excited to see these days is the um, new Joker movie. Yes. Which is, who would have thought that was where we'd be? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. What? It's like, oh, I'm excited to see a DC movie. Yeah. Okay. Because, like, Star Wars is like, I'll see oh, it, but it. eh. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I'm I gave up on Star Wars a while back. Yeah. When when I was the moment that you, you were like, well, yeah. The second movie. Uh, I was just like. Last Jedi? Eh. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. I almost gave up on the movie before it with when I saw those little fluffy creatures and him like milking some weird cow thing. Yeah, it's like it's dark. It's like it's not it's not good. I but, did see Richard Linkletter's new movie. Oh, how was it? Uh, it was a steaming pile of crap, unfortunately. Yeah, he's so I feel like Richard Linklater is like that this guy where like his when his movies are good, they're very good, but they're very him. And when they're not good, they're just terrible. Like like School of Rock. Like it's it's, it's like so crazy. <laughs> he did that. Yeah, oh. that's like Richard Linklater has got the weirdest career. Oh. But then he makes like Boyhood. You know what I mean? Which is like one of the best movies ever. So good. It's like and it's kind of almost like un. Oh, this level's not easy. And like um uh and his first movie is is very like not amazing, but it's like really. <laughs> It's a really cool concept. Right. Um, which is... Yeah, and then did you ever see the Before Sunrise, Before Yeah, sunset? those are great. Yeah, those are like, really good those films. Those are amazing movies. Um, so it's a mixed bag with him, I guess. It really I... is. Okay, this part is not... Oh, no. Okay. Death. What I need to do is get this over there. There we go. This one is a race against time. This level is really challenging in that respect. Um. Oh, shit. No, I'm good. And you can get trapped pretty easily in this level. But it's the next level that is messing with me. And now I think I have to go up, so I'll go up first. And get the stuff up here. And then... Is there any news on the re-release of Boulder Dash? And said, nope, sorry. Oh, I haven't heard anything. Well, there's the person to ask. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be really cool. If this could be re-released for all the people that couldn't get a copy of it. Um, oh, George, James, have you seen Mind Hunter? Uh, no. Very good show. You'd like it. Um, oh, no, I watched one episode this, of it. Of the, the first one? I think it was the first episode. Yeah, it's a very cool show. The second season, it, it came out, like, like a while back. Oh, yeah. Really this, amazing. Uh, Charles Manson is one of the episodes. Yeah, but it's he's very brief in it. Um, right. Uh, but the first the first season's amazing. The second season's amazing. That's probably some of my favorite TV right now. <gasps> no. Sorry, yeah. Not necessarily. You can drop that. No. No. Yeah. Yeah, I messed, messed it up. Oh, no. And I need to get all of them. God damn it. Uh-oh. Now you're really... No, that doesn't help me. No. Uh, can I do drop. anything? Ugh. See how far you can go to the left? No. Yeah, you're rip. Yeah, you're rip. so I gotta. Do you, want me, do you need me to reset? How? Nope. <laughs> I don't. Yay, good. 
But yeah, no, that's that's the one I recommend. David Fincher is the is the uh, executive producer oh, of it, well, yeah, and he directs a lot of the episodes. And like the show, the writing is incredible. So well written. God damn it! Yeah, yeah, it's very very cool, and it's and it's got a really nice pace to it. Like it kind of it takes its time, but also moves fast. Right. And I'll, well, it's I'll, a lot of it's about interviews and about yeah, extra life. So that helps. Um. And it's just, it's really one of those ones where you're like, oh my god! What? Sorry. Oh no, no, it's all good. Um, oh, and the other thing I'm looking forward to is the Breaking Bad movie. Um, oh yeah? That's I, I never watched Breaking Bad, so. Oh, I love Breaking Bad. Yeah, they're doing a, doing a movie on Netflix. Um, oh, on Netflix. About like the... Yeah, that's how I do it. Yep, just kill myself every time. Same spot. Yeah. Um... Um, cause at the end, cause there's kind of two main characters in the show. Yeah. Um, there's a younger kid and then there's like the main guy. Yeah. Um, so, and at the end of the, the, the show, um, this isn't spoilers, but it's like, obviously there was some questions about what happened to one of the characters. Oh, okay. Um, so it's very cool cause they're, you're going to kind of follow like where his, how, how his life turned out, mm. um, which is really exciting. And the actor is really great. So the and, events take place after. Yeah, so it's kind of it looks like a sequel in some ways to the show, and they did the Better Call Saul, which to me I right. was a cool show, but wasn't That's good. wasn't like kind of like spellbinding, you know, lightning in a bottle like Breaking oh, okay. Bad. Yeah. I would highly recommend Breaking Bad, man. It's one of the best shows, really ever. Uh oh, no, what I do is go down. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, there's so many I have to see. I, yeah, I have to see House of Cards. Um. um House of Cards Not is... Not the last season, but... Yeah, man, House of Cards is great, too. Like, the first two seasons of that yeah. show is killer. Yeah. Although it's a bit weird now with Spacey. Well, I just don't watch the last... No, but I mean, like, even... Yeah, just in general? Well, no, but, knowing... like, re-watching, because the guy that he plays is, like... You'll get that first. You know, it's, it's, it colors it differently, I think. Oh, because you okay. Because he's very, he, he's very, like, um, you know... I'll do this. Uh, creepy would be the word. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so now knowing that it's sort of creepy in, in like real life, is that really... <laughs> reflecting? Yeah, so yeah. It's a creepy dude playing a creepy dude. Totally, and it makes <laughs> sense. Like when when it, all that stuff came out, it was like, oh yeah, it was like yeah, yeah you know, we all met we, the doctor. Yeah, we all saw House of Cards. Like we know he needed to live the life of a creepy dude. He did. He to needed play to play a creepy dude, and he is God. Can he do it well? <laughs> you know. I think this method I'm doing right now is, is good probably better. Oh, I, I I feel free letting Star Wars go. That was my 77, oh, yeah. 80, 83, and really I wasn't crazy about the Ewok thing. And then after I was excited, Ewok. but it was just not the same. Dude, Empire Strikes Back is masterful. I love it. It's so good, but the plot it... between um, Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher. Like watching that shit in twenty. 20- I'm done. Oh my god, I'm done. Watching that, that was... shit again in 2019 is very disturbing. Yeah. Cause like that whole scene with her, where Where's she's like, she's like, um. He's down here. Yeah. Sorry. That whole scene, she's just like, no, don't. don't yeah. Don't. And it's like, it's very weird. It's on the edge. It's like. And, yeah. I mean, okay. Harrison Ford also like Blade Runner. How do you pause like, this? Can you pause this? Um. Okay. Now I need help with this. Is there a pause? Thrust, help. Um, because I need the manual. On the way these guys move. Oh yeah, you're watching Andromeda. That's a crazy show. That's a very interesting show with Kevin Sorbo. You start. Is there a pause? I don't think there is a pause. No. Is it oh, tri- pause. Is it try switches. TV type. Yeah. Ah, goes. cool. Nice. Okay. So in level D, this is called butterflies. Drop boulders on the butterflies to create diamonds. Um, yeah, this is where like this game gets hard. Now the butterflies. Uh, the colorful butterflies behave much like the fireflies. However, they fly in the opposite direction of the fireflies, and they turn into diamonds when explode. The, so the fireflies. Uh, they only move along the edges of exposed areas. Try turning the tables by dropping boulders on them, which causes them to blow up. Um, so it doesn't actually say which direction the butterflies go in. It just says they go in the dirt opposite direction of the fireflies. So I have to drop boulders on which these fireflies. Which one is it? I'll hit it. Which one is it? Is it um, the, the switch. It is the TV type. Switch it back to color. Now I think I only have one life left because I was so stupid. Oh, that's okay. 
Now, what I figure is you make a path and then you let them out. And as you let them out, you run away and then drop the boulder on them like Dig Dug. Damn it. And I'm dead and I have no lives left. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to do it all over again because Boulder Dash is not an easy game. Was that was that D? Was that the one that you're yeah, meant to be at? That's the one I have to get. Okay, cool. So cool. I can continue on with this game and not have to start at A every time. Uh, I'm just Let's get on it. It's all good. Yeah, I, I feel the same about just letting go of Star Wars too. Yeah, like, I, I just don't care anymore. And it's not it's not a really a piece of art anymore. It's a it's it's really is a a, a piece of commercial. It's um, not the indie film it once was. No. <laughs> well, only the first one was an indie film. Yeah. After that, but he they, made so much money. The that. second one still sort of felt like what let that, and then the third one was really the end of the the whole run. You know. Yeah. Ewoks and. <laughs> Second Death Ewoks. Star. It's like, oh, oh yeah, really? great idea. Second Death <laughs> Star. <laughs> okay. Go back to that well. <laughs> yeah, and then the like, and then the 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 prequels, whatever you call mm. them, you know, are We're just crazy, nightmare. just insanity. And then these new ones just feel like, um, like fan fiction, Nostalgia. almost, right? Yeah, like, fan service. It's like you're, it's like you, you know, this is just weird. It's like remember this, remember this, remember Check this. Check out the sound that you once loved. Wom, 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 wom. It's like okay. Here's all the same tunes as before. Yeah, it feels like it's like watching like like someone. Oh, it's okay. like it's like watching like uh, someone like do an imitation of like the Rolling Stones, <laughs> being like, yeah, remember, can't get no satisfaction, you know. <laughs> and you're like, well, remember this song. And it's like a Hispanic guy, just like, yeah. But there's anything wrong with Hispanic people? But you know, it's just like there's, it's like weird. It's like what? So that's a pale I mean. imitation of yeah of it. And it and it's what we wanted, like the the prequels. Everybody was really excited, and it's it's like, yeah, we want Star Wars again, yay! Dude, it's back. But then it's like, we didn't want this. It's like, what is this? <laughs> this isn't Star this Wars. This is confusing. It's all green screen, and everybody doesn't seem to know that they're actually in a movie, and there's wooden acting, and it's it's. Terrible. Jar Jar Banks is here. Like, <laughs> yeah. shit's bad. He says, Star Wars is only about making money now. Yeah. No spirit left. Same with Star Trek Discovery. Yeah. It's, yeah they're I... tough. They're just, you know, it's, it is like, um, but it's tough if a, a corporation like Disney purchases a, a you know, a billion dollar uh, product. They they're need gonna... to make money back. Yeah, they're going to go for their money. And, but it's also really interesting. I mean, we're in an, kind of a scary era where we're getting some real kind of almost monopolies. I mean, oh, um, uh, oh, yeah. one of the saddest things is there's this theater in Vancouver called The Rio, which is a yes. beautiful theater. Um, but, it supplies to everywhere in North America, too, yeah. by the way. And, and Disney just bought Fox and all of Fox's um, uh, uh, products, basically, like their back catalog. And this means that they can no longer play any Fox films at The Rio. Yeah. So things like Blade Runner or Alien, which we used to be able to watch, like Prince of in the theater, which is so special, is, Unbelievable, is yeah. not a thing that will happen anymore. More. And um, and it's for their own streaming platform, guaranteed. Like, oh, what, it is. That, they only want you to be able to get it at one place, which is going to be <laughs> theirs. That you have to spend your fourteen ninety nine a month, and it's weird. I yeah. think it's going to be Crave TV, Amazon, Apple TV, because Apple's releasing their own one. Yeah, and, NBC. And and then it's going With to Office and Friends. Yep. Because they reclaim them back from Netflix. God. Um, which is yeah, that's a. Uh, you know, and then and so it's weird, and each one will almost have their own weird market. Like eventually, I think Netflix will just be Netflix Originals, and yes. um, probably Crave will just be HBO, and Disney will just be Disney, and you all of a sudden you have to drop like forty five dollars a month, and we're back to what we were. Yeah, with cable television, which is totally where we're going. I just I, I don't see how we're we couldn't be. Um, which what God happened? Damn it! That was a weird one. No, I just wasn't doing it right. I just went too fast. Yeah, man. He says the digital makeovers of the first three episodes refused to count. Totally. There's the there's the despecialized versions online. I don't know <laughs> if you've heard about this. That someone went through and took HD masters and yes. and tried to like uh, to be Restore the original them. theatrical. Yeah. 
and um, they're very good. Like it's cool to watch them in the original form because they make so much more sense. Yeah. Especially that third one. That third one's so weird with the like the the, the singing chick. Oh in the, my Do God. you remember that? It's so weird. But yeah, it's sad to think that like we're yeah, it's just gonna be cable TV again, you know. Yeah. And the only things that seem to be in like the theaters are like you know these big. That's what I meant to do. Yeah. But I did it too fast and then didn't move over fast enough. Um, yeah, Flying the, too close the, to the sun. And uh, Disney is doing a propaganda about this taking these movies out of the theaters because they're saying, oh, no, in, in repertoire theaters can totally play all these films still. There literally are no repertoire theaters that exist. Yes. All the theaters that you see that are playing old movies are second-run theaters. Correct. And there is a distinction in their agreements with um, uh, Fox and Disney that they are only allowed to be playing in repertoire theaters, which only play old movies only. Yeah. And no... Uh, the theater here said there really aren't any of those. They don't exist. Yeah. Um, so literally, they're they're doing wordplay to get around the fact that, that they, they are really taking out all these films from uh, availability. Yeah. And that's the thing that makes me sad is like I love like Alien for example. Oh my um, god! Yeah. I'd lo fucking love to see that again in the theater. I'd love to see the original Blade Runner. Oh, I'd love to see all these movies. And I do and, and all the time. I go to these these uh these second run theaters and watch them and and they're and because those are those movies were proper cinema they were meant to be seen on the big screen you know they weren't meant to be watched on your little iphone you know yeah they're huge landscapes i think i have to go this way and it's yeah so it's just it's a it's it's a it's a weird time you know i love right, the only lost one life yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Yeah, Despecialize is the only way to watch the original. It's so true, yeah. man. It's so There's true. There's one guy out there that is making, um, is redoing Star Wars um, and kind of despecializing it. And, okay, now where do I want to go? Apparently there's some really good edits, like fan edits combining the, the prequels into sort of one movie. Damn it, where do I want to go? Way up there? Okay. Hopefully I can run faster than him. <laughs> like to be the funniest thing of all time is that uh, they did like no groundwork at all. Oh no! There they all are. <laughs> I think I ran too far. That was too far. There must be an easier way to do this. There has to be. Vertical oh, path he said that is the way boulder. to do it. Yep. So let's do which boulder should I do? Oh my god! Oh god damn it! How many lives do you have? One. One left. Okay. And I think this is the one life. Maybe that is the right boulder, but I just... He's so fast. This boulder? Not that one. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Not that one. Dude! Fuck Yay. yeah. Is that it? No. No, 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 you have to get a ton of these. You got another, like, nine of these guys to kill, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because they give nine each. But oh, I just yeah. have to do that every time. So let's do it with these boulders. Yeah, you just gotta, you gotta make, you gotta have a plan, like a strategy, and then you're good. There we go. Getting there. Okay, I have to be very careful, yes. though. Diamonds can kill you too, if they drop on you. Not just it's boulders. A, Boulder Dash is a is a harsh mistress. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So where's a boulder? Up, there. not down. This game looks so smooth and fast. I wish this was readily available. It's such an incredible port. Yeah. It is truly, very man. smooth. I it's yeah. It's like I feel so lucky that we get to show this game off because this is such a good game and it is one of those things <gasps> where, oh no, oh no. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's gonna come. He's gonna do it. Oh, I see it. Yes! Yes! Okay. Okay, it's just two more of those, man. Yep. Because, like, what? It's got nine each? Yep. One yeah, more. One, one more. more. One more. 
and you got 30 seconds. You got this, dude. I believe in you. I can I can do it. Fuck but yeah. I need to find the door, too. That's the problem. Where is this guy? I think I'll be faster. There we go. I need a boulder. Oh, that one? Way up there? Okay. Maybe. Where's the path? Yes. That's okay. the path. Fuck yeah. Map it out. Yeah, yeah. Seconds. And there's only, like, one way he can go, so... Whoa. Yes! Okay, good work. Where good work. is the exit? I have like eight seconds left. I just gotta run. Oh. There, down. Oh, oh my god. That oh. was like. That, oh that god. was just like. Oh god damn, that was some good edit. That was, that was perfect. Did I get him? No. <laughs> no, you. That's a bonus. Ah! I didn't get him. That's okay. You only have one shot at it. Yeah, you only have one shot to drop it. So is that... No, it's still... It's a bonus level. Good. Oh, level E! Sick! Fuck yeah! Oh, that was so close! That was so like... So <laughs> Like down to the second, I think. Did you ever see good. Galaxy Quest? That's like Galaxy Quest. I did. Because Galaxy Quest is the joke where like they have the timer. Oh God. And they're like... And the timer will only go off like exactly at one second just because they're like you know oh i just have to get them in these okay so i just have to let these guys out and let them roam free and go get them i think yeah. and then be very careful <laughs> whoa how many how many do i have to get oh i only have to get one more okay you don't have to get that many oh he said claps both hands but you did not watch the chat what do i need to watch the chat he said, uh, for he said Amstrad, that that was wizard, and then that was close. Watch the chat. How can I watch the chat while I'm playing? I should be. I should, that's my job. I should be doing that. There this is. Oh, he said right bottom. Oh, so he did let us oh, know. Oh, I see. Yeah. Thank you. I made it anyway. We did. Easy, really easy. <laughs> yeah. He's really easy. I didn't get all of them. Oh, good. Back to normal. Back to normal. And I think Thomas said that is one of the hardest levels. Um, D? Yeah, that's. it's just very unforgiving. It's very relentless, like... Okay, what do I need to do here? Uh, not that. Whoa. Not always right bottom. Yeah, no, we, we definitely, but that was... You, you had our back with that one. I we need to get four diamonds, so I do need to drop... Drop some stuff on those dudes. Oh, no, they're there. Okay, so I just need to let them out and go get the diamonds. Killing them's not a terrible idea, though, if you can pull it off. Yeah. Because um, it just gives an opportunity to, like... Oh, get more diamonds right away, right? Oh, or, I don't think no. you... I don't oh, think they, they don't give diamonds. But, but now, now they're not wandering around, like, gonna kill True. you. Because there's a fair amount of them, right? Hurry box was going making some noise there. Yeah, it was, wow. Yeah, these, you know those voc order like style <laughs> things are very hip these days. No, D is easy. C is ugly. Oh, C C is is challenging, but I got a pattern down, so I wonder if I can do this. That's hilarious if you can. Oh I did. Whoa. Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah, that's so the you get the timing, it. you can do it right across. That was just lucky. That's like some speedrunner. D is easy. Well, now that I know how to do it, I think it is It is a little bit easier. So I think I should let these guys... Yeah, I have to because... You or have kill to... them, you mean. I, yeah. I think if you can kill them, I would recommend it just because... Oh, no, he can't. <laughs> no, I trapped him. Okay. Oh. You killed oh, one of them. Oh, I killed one of them. I heard it. Good. Yeah, because, like, then it's just, like, because if you have to dodge, like, four of these, I'd say, like, if you, maybe, like, the last one, like, whatever, but, like, yeah. Oh, maybe I'll, oh, pff, that's not how you do it. Nah. <laughs> well. Maybe I just let them all out, let them roam free. 
Oh no. Yeah, it's just gonna be chaos. Yeah. I mean, you could do it, but. He's really easy if you know how. Yeah. I, I got it after. Dude, it a bit. definitely has some awesome menu music for oh, sure. That's what I need to do, just let them all out. And then. Oh, the menu music is. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, and they go back in. Ah! I think, yeah. I need to let them out. I think, I and think. Drop some boulders all over them. I think you could, if you killed like maybe two, and then you had two, because I think four roaming around is a bit much, but like. Are you back on level one? Oops. Oh, shit. But like, you know, I think you have to kill at least one or two. And then if you just let two of them roam around, like, whatever. Blip. I like that sound. <laughs> Better kill them. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're totally right with that. Oh, what am I on? Oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. It's okay. We're just playing around because I'm, I'm going to leave this seriously for another day. No. I have to do it at the right moment just as it goes away. Oops. Damn it. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> it's giving little er errors on the Atari box. Does it work? No, I got lucky. I got lucky. But what I could do. Dog freaking out outside. There's lots of dogs in the neighborhood that freak out. Actually, there's one across the street. Constantly. And their owners, they come home. And they go, woo, 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 little puppy, I love you. And the dog goes nuts. So they totally encourage the dog to do, to make those noises. Thrust says, uh, there's a nice trick. Grab the diamond while the firefly is right above them. Oh. Oh, that back. Oh, my God. Doesn't remember. Doesn't remember what cave you're on. See what, see if that changes things. Uh, Grab it when they're right above. That's what he recommends. Okay. I don't know what necessarily how that's gonna work yet, but like, like go down here and just like grab it. Oh, and then it goes back maybe instead of following you. Let's try that and not screw up. <laughs> yeah, we got really lucky once, eh? <laughs> oh no! Oh, what a it's hard not how game. You do it. This is how we do it in Canada. I'm just so relieved I finished level D. Oh my god. Right above it or two above it? I bet two above it would make more sense. God. Ah! ah! Man, this is. I'm happy you're playing this one. It's a hard game. This it's, is not. It's challenging. Come on. Has to be in contact with the diamond. Oh, okay, so there. Ah. Because I'm trying to run away fast, so I don't so press I think, twice. So I think I think you can actually be one underneath it, and it's not gonna like release. Oh yeah, right? that's right. So like, what? I got it. No. Yeah, it needs to be right above it. It was. I mean, it was at the side, unfortunately. Yeah. It was close. Let's see. If this... Like there. Yeah. So quick. I did it. I don't know. Very I suspicious. don't think so. Oops. Grab. Use the button. Oh, right! I, totally, I haven't used that at all in this game. Oh, so you can, like, grab. You can grab things when you're next to them. But not then. Yeah. But, uh... I'm excited to see this technique. Yeah. I don't know about that. Feels <laughs> feels suspicious. Yeah, very suspicious. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing it at the wrong time, but I'm pretty sure I am. Oh, too long. Because it just goes around. Yeah, it just it follows it back around. Ah! Oh, wow. wow! What a crazy. I love that. I love that <laughs> Atari box sound. sound. I'm sure it's a mistake. You know what I've noticed a lot in pop music recently is they'll harmonize with a vocoder as a technique to sort of like, you know what I mean? They'll kind of, it's really interesting. Yeah, I've been, it follows you. I've been hearing a lot of that. Yeah? 
where where there'll, there'll be like sections of melodies that people will sing and the the vocoder will play the harmony with them so you'll have oh, a human okay. singing with a vocoder and it creates this really cool effect um i've been hearing that a ton in pop music these days stop following me which is just so different oh god <laughs> Oh. oh no. My god. The dirt below the diamond. Grab the dirt, not the diamond. Oh, okay. So if I if I grab that dirt, that diamond's gonna fall on me. Let's see what happens. Try it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't think that's the technique. Grab Just... the dirt, not the diamond. The dirt below the diamond. Yeah, I did. Maybe I go to the side of it. But if I go to the side of it, that lets the guy out. Yeah, so... So I can't g grab that dirt. And if I go... Are you allowed... Do you gr the butterfly did start circling when you did that. I don't know. Just let it out. Get up the diamond. I'm, I'm just, just overcomplicating it. Well, like, I'm sure that he... I'm sure he's totally right that it's yeah. like... That there's a way to do it. But if you just let but these like... guys out, it's... I think it's much simpler. <laughs> Yeah. What a hard game. It's got a lot of things going on with it. Like, every oh level God. feels different, you know? Like, it feels like... It's very much like Robo Mechanic, where there's lots of things in the game, and they all have their own way of behaving within the game. Yeah. So if you use them in different combinations, you can have a lot of dynamics. Uh-oh. Whoa. Holy shit. Look at that guy. What's wrong with him? <laughs> he's having he's having issues. Is that is that the, what we were supposed to do? Did we get it right? Maybe that was it, hey? Uh, go back to where you came from. We gotta get out. Okay, we're done. Yes, make them circle. They are wall huggers. When you remove their wall, they will circle. Okay. Let's see this. Let's try to get this at least once. Remove their wall. Dirt below the diamond. Okay. Of course, uh -oh. I totally messed it up. But if you move the boat dirt below the diamond... He said you did it at least once. Oh, I see what... I, I think I know what he means. But then you have to move immediately. It's hard because it falls on you. Yeah. I can... I, be, I think I understand because if you do that, he'll stay in there. But I don't know how to not die. That's the that's the real question. Because, yeah, in theory, this makes so much sense. But yeah, it in does. In practice, we haven't been able to pull it off once. A diamond is a wall for them, yeah, too. Yeah, the concept makes sense. I just don't know how we uh, survive this. Like, that removes it, too, just as much as me removing the dirt. Like that. Is that what they mean? No. Oh, you know what? I could do that over and over again. And they're all still trapped. And then I can just do a, a quick run across. Run. That's not a bad idea at all. If I can do it properly. Let's try this technique. Cause he, this is a cool idea. That's, that's what gave me the idea. He said a diamond is a wall for them too. So you keep the diamond as a wall. They still can't get out. You, just gotta... you have to move fast. Yeah, you just gotta have the reflexes for this stuff, which... Not super easy. Oh, no! I do want to try this, though. Yeah, this is cool And concept. succeed once. Because then I can remember it for next time. It's super hard. You have to be... And it's two directions, right? You have to do a down, then across. Oh, I messed up. And he's on me. 
Uh, run, and you're the exact same speed as him. <laughs> it's just like a nightmare. Oh god! What okay, a we're, done. we're done. We're done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I accomplished what I set out to accomplish. We had goals. So I am very happy about that. We had goals and we succeeded. Oh, what is this? You are dead. Let's get rid of that. That's beast. And get the chat back up. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Let's see what's on the roster for um, games coming up, because I do have some scheduled, some fun stuff. Oh, sick. Um, there we go. Okay, so uh, next episode, we're going to play a game called Battle Zuma. Wow. Um, the developer just con contacted me today about it. Um, and he is Brazilian. Wow, so cool. Some, and the Atari 2600 was very big in Brazil. Uh, we're going to try and go for the wall jump ninja world record, reclaiming it. I'm going to try for I believe, that. I believe that that's I can possible. Do it. Oh, yeah. And we're going to go for the Kaboom patch. I'm going to totally fail on Kaboom. Kaboom's a motherfucker, man. Yeah, that's a hard so game. Fast. Uh, and How much do you got to do for the Kaboom patch? 3,000. Wow. Um, and every time you die, it slows down again. So the technique is... And you get an extra life every thousand. So the technique, if you can do it, I can't even make it this high, is you die just before a thousand. Then you get the life back at a thousand, and it slows all the How gameplay down. How much does Mike Mate do? His, what's his? Oh, uh, uh, he can go forever. Really? Much. Wow. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So I guess it's, it's it's all possible, but he's he's really good. Obviously, it's his. So game. I'm gonna watch his stream. Yeah. Get some, get some tips because I I'm terrible at that game. Then we're back on Wednesday. That was Friday stuff. We're back on Wednesday with Erlen. We're going to be playing the brand new penult. I'm really looking forward game. to that. That's going to be fun. And maybe I've solved my power issues by then. I that might, would be terrific, I man. I may have to go out to a store and get a special power supply that has just a bit more amperage or something I can set. And I was supposed to gave the the number. You yeah. got to write that down. Yeah, um, I'm going to go back in the in the chat um, make and sure make sure it's... I get that number. He gave he what is it uh, nine volt and eight hundred m or something? Eight hundred milliamp. Yeah. Yeah. That but was... I'll I'll make sure because that's very dangerous to yeah you don't pump too much you power. You do not want to fuck it. with that. No. Oh, thank you, Repentless VG. You created an even plus. harder version called Sabu. Sadoom. Oh my god. Yeah, because what we need is a harder version of Kaboom. That's yeah. that's what. <laughs> It's way too easy. <laughs> That's what we need. Yeah. Oh, thanks for hanging out and watching uh, the show, Repentless yeah. and uh, uh, Tifos and Trust. And, that, man. Oh, new person, Yawn for Real. Yawn for Yawn for Real. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I like that name. And, and yeah, it, it does have very good um, menu music in Boulder Dash. It's an incredible game made by uh, Thrust Twenty Six, Thomas Yench. Yeah, and, man. And uh, Labor of Love. Then. What's his name? Uh, Andrew Davy. Good. Andrew Davy. Um, From Australia, dude, not New Zealand. Dude, we finally <laughs> got it. Kind of finally got it. Impaler twenty six. A splendid nut. I supposed to. Ground um, Trooper. Ground Trooper. Uh, Dinoid seventy seven. Nomad Game, game Dev. Thanks, thanks for, for passing over the info for your game, and uh, thanks for making that game. Looking forward to newer versions, unless he's finished. But yeah, I think no. he should really look at f fixing the line count so that it's very stable. Totally, and then give me some health. <laughs> yeah, some health for Erlen. That'll help. So uh, who else? I think that's everybody. So, who talks? Oh, Nomad was into Metro 2033. That was awesome. Oh, uh, Dan AVC was I love here. That he's, he knows the games I'm referencing. RC70. There I, we go. I Lots of people. All these crazy games. And, and uh, thanks for. Ch oh, I have a Radio Shack selectable that does 9 volt, mil not 800 milliamp that so I he use. He's actually, uh, like. Can you send that? Like next day post <laughs> yeah so uh, so it does exist um hopefully i can find it somewhere local well like that lee's, place you recommended me to is, is lee's on main lee's yeah, electronics that's the place to that, go that would be the place to go yeah it's a decent set of games um, definitely today. very different too let's go through them real yeah. quick just to recap um demos lander Great. that was fun man that really. was a hard game but like um, really hard too hard in fact yeah but Level. very very good feeling when you do nail it yeah because it's one of those games where you know you can do it if you just try a little bit harder and nail it. Level two is just a killer. I wish, I wish you could select. Yeah. And go straight to level two. Me too. And I wish you had just maybe like a little bit more fuel for that for that level two. Like yeah. even just like another like 
even just 15 more, 10 more. Yeah. Like, we were so close each time, but that's part of the challenge and the and fun, And he's still I developing guess. it, so it could be, he could add the selectable and he could add more fuel. Yeah. Uh, um, and then Abyss of Chernobyl. I'd love to play the other mini games. Yeah, um, great once, start. Once we found out that technique, it changed our lives. I mean, it was literally a different <laughs> My life thing. will never be the same. Yeah, it's, yeah. There, there's before I figured out how to <laughs> move backwards and throw the <laughs> yep. bucket and after. Yeah, we'll always remember 9-11 for that. That's right. Oh, dude, is it 9-11? <laughs> it is. It is. Oh, yep. God. Um, and then, <laughs> moving on, Beast. Uh, Beast, great, uh, yeah. great little game. Uh, needs extra lives. Definitely. Um, but other than that, it's it's pretty good. It's got some good opponents. It's got it's got levels that shows progression, and you almost made it to the castle. I think he said the next yeah. one was the castle, but those those boulders that came down Oof. were like so fast. Yeah, it was like, and that's the thing where by the time I got there, I'd already lost some health. Like I could probably go back and and, and get it, but yeah, damn, it was hard. Yeah. And then, of course, of course, Boulder Dash, which we're playing yeah. our way through. We will get through it eventually. So, dude, that's crazy because it's 911 and like... Oh, I'm getting some USB 5 volt 2 amp boards that convert to 9 volts so I can replace 7,826 in our power supplies with USB chargers. I is supposed to please. Those will sell like hotcakes. USB powered Atari 2600. Smart. Yeah. Very smart, dude. I supposed to has got his shit together. What is the tolerance of the 2600? How high can you go with amp? Because you're saying two amps, and you recommended an 800 milliamp. So that's quite a quite a range. Do you know what the tolerance of a 2600 is? And it sounds like he's actually does has has done this and, yeah, and had so some I success. Yeah. So I I supposed to. That's really I'm not nice blow to know. Up. Voltage is what you have to worry about. Okay. Yeah. I guess so, so it's the nine volt that they need on the yeah. twenty six hundred. So the amp is not as important. Milliamp does not matter. That's good to oh, know. Good. Okay. I don't know my electronics that well. That's, Neither do um, I. So I'm super scared of plugging in things in yeah, systems. Yeah. You know, we ain't we ain't no electricians. <laughs> no. And yeah, there's many times you can just fry stuff. Yeah. The like... magic blue smoke comes out of it, and then it's over. Yeah. Then that's you know, it. You have to keep the magic smoke in the boxes. Correct. Not out of the boxes. And yeah, Boulder Dash, amazing, amazing game. Um, you should check out his Soko Boo, um, Andrew Davies, because it's a building on the engine yeah. of Boulder Dash, and it's unbelievable what he's transformed a simple box pushing game oh, into. It's so good. You should see it now. It's like super colorful and rainbow, and he's got a level selector that's a full screen dude oh, pushing my a God. box. So he he like releases a new version every day. He keeps refining it. That's yep. that's how you do, do good stuff. So once stuff, it settles man. down a little bit, we'll revisit it and take a look at his improvements because it's it's amazing. There's a real lesson in there, you know. You got to do it every day. And Circuit you, needs seven point five or higher. Yeah, you, you gotta and it is one it. of those things where you know one of my new mottos for myself is it's better to do something badly than not do it at all. And yeah. when you start doing something, the only option is to do it badly. Yeah. You're gonna do, you're gonna go through the worst versions of everything first. Yeah. You know, uh, and to do something every day on exactly because if you do nothing consistently, you'll you'll definitely never not gonna finish happen. it. But if you do even the smallest little thing, even even planning to do it, like yeah. what you're gonna do next, that's one step closer. And it to has finishing to it. be bad to start with. That's yeah. just how it goes. You're not gonna be good. You gotta give yourself the permission to to fuck it up. And because yeah. I that's that was the what I have respect for people, someone like that who yeah. every day goes back to something and. But works he's it. awesome at it, so. Yeah, oh, of course, He's not but, it up. but I'm saying but, that yeah. like that that attitude is is what gets shit done in this world. Is like, nope, yeah. we're just gonna keep working it until it until it's great, you yeah. know. And the realization that you are gonna be bad at first, and not give up when you see that the thing you made was bad, because that is a process and a step that is, that you have to go through. Then anyway, <laughs> that's it's, good. It's good advice. It is, man. That's cool. Um. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's it for Boulder today. Dash is Boulder Dash is probably, awesome. the, probably the game of the day, of course, but it's hard to compete with Boulder Dash. It's such an incredible um, piece of work, you know? Yeah. And I was very impressed with all the games today. Thank mm -hmm. you all for, like, watching, and thank you all for... Making you know, them. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. We wouldn't be here without you, so thank you. Yeah. So, uh, we'll see you on Friday. It'll be the 6 p.m. Pacific time show, yeah. the later one, so... R.I.P. European viewers. Sorry, friends. <laughs> but but I'll be back next week. Yeah, on Wednesday, and we. And will that's check the last out... show for a, 
A bit? couple weeks. A couple yeah. weeks, yeah. And then we have a big show coming back. Oh, what's the big show coming it back? It is, oh, I forgot about that. We're going to be playing Robo Mechanic, a special build just for the show yes. with new levels. That's a fucking good game. That'll yep. be a fun show, man. Yep. That'll be a good one back. Yeah, so I was in touch with uh, the developer of Robo Mechanic, and he's going to pass over. He's, he's, wow. he's making the new levels and finishing up the game. And he's going to add in a whole world of levels. I think that's eight more levels. So we'll have two worlds to uh, do that. And it is sadly not your day, but that's okay. I'll be doing with uh, Darcy because oh, I dude, Darcy will have a this. fun. I've already played yeah. it. Yeah, Darcy will have a blast with that game. So you definitely want to tune in for that Friday show. It's a noon show, so European viewers can tune in on that Hell one. Yeah. And or you can watch it on YouTube after. But and then, and then that is, is an unbelievable game. And then what is it? Just TBA for, for after that? Because it's yeah. a fair ways away. So oh, it's, it's a month away, away at this point. So that is on October 4th, the day after my birthday. And your birthday is coming up soon September at the end of the 30th. month. September 30th. Yep. So we get birthdays five, four days apart. It's <laughs> nuts. It's crazy. Um, but usually on my birthday, I go to the movies. I have I've a plan this year. It's altered a bit because there's an arcade that opened up in New West. It's yes. going to be going to the movies, one or two movies at uh, VIF. That's perfect. Then dinner, then the arcade for an hour or two. So that's the plan. That's It'll all. be the Saturday probably after my birthday. So it'll be that weekend. Sure. Yeah. So if you're in for that. Oh, I'm definitely in. I got, <laughs> I'll, I'll book the time off. That sounds Excellent. great. So actually, that reminds me we have to actually get those tickets right now. Because the first day was a couple days ago that they released them. And some of them are already yellow. Yeah, it makes sense. It goes fast. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. And we'll see you on Friday. And he'll be back on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll see you next Wednesday for Penalt. Penalt, and you got to be there for Penalt. It's going to be For good. sure. So, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.